halfway through this valley And my eyes just can't see a quick way out And it might seem life's got it out for me Like I'm way too deep, but I have found Every single circumstance I can place in greater hands I won't let my trouble bring me down Just cast my cares Won't sink into despair I won't find answers there Only doubt Every single circumstance I can place in greater hands God, I know you'll never let me down I've got joy down in my soul I'm gonna take it everywhere I go Not gonna worry about what I don't know I'll be alright No matter how I feel Gonna be my strength, be my truth Gonna light the way, see me through Gonna be my hope, be my shield Gonna lift me up no matter how I feel I've got you Music and ministry that is always uplifting and encouraging. It is local Christian radio, 105.5 and 90.9 The Vine. It is from Johnny Diaz, his song called Joy. Good morning, 7 Eleven. It's the Vine Morning Show on a Funday Friday. I'm Mark. And it's great to have you along this morning. Thanks for tuning in to local and positive Christian radio for you and your family. As we have a big day lined up for you today here on Funday Friday, right here on The Vine. As you see the logo, if you're watching on our in-studio camera this morning, it's Fun Day Friday. We uh, thank you for tuning in. You can watch our live video stream on our website right now at wbyn.org. Thanks for tuning in this morning. I'm Mark, and uh, usually at this time, Jesse the intern is with me, but uh, Jesse's not with me this morning. Jesse is, a lot of people know Jesse. Jesse's a senior at Wayne City High School. Great kid and a uh, dear friend of mine. I consider Jesse a dear friend, as many people do. And Jesse is at Children's Hospital in St. Louis. Uh, he was taken there last night. He's being treated for an illness. I'm keeping in contact with his mom. I won't go into any details of what's going on right now. They're still trying to figure that out. But I'll keep you posted. All we ask is that you keep Jesse in your prayers, your daily prayers, and if you would, uh, just put him on your uh, prayer list at church for Sunday, all right? Keep Jesse in prayer, and we appreciate it. Kelly and Jimmy will join me in the studio coming up in a little bit, as we got a lot to do today. Yeah, we sure do. We're going to have our drawing. We're going to draw out just after 9 o'clock this morning, three winners. As if you're watching our live in-studio camera this morning right now, if you're watching our video stream, you're going to see just over my shoulder, actually over the top of my head here and headset, you're going to see this tumbler back here. And in that tumbler is all the names of those of you that have registered to win front row tickets to the very next theme tour featuring Casting Crowns, Danny Goki, and the group Unspoken coming to the SIU Arena in Carbondale on Good Friday, April 14th. Now, 
if you've registered your names in this tumbler back here. That's right. I've been turning the tumbler quite often this morning, just mixing it up. And uh, we've got entries from all over. Carbondale, Marion, uh, McLeansboro, Fairfield, Flora, Louisville, Mount Vernon, Albion. Uh, from all over, actually. And we thank you for your your entries. For those of you that uh, want to go to this concert, we're going to draw out three lucky winners who will each receive two front row tickets to the very next theme tour. You're going to sit right up close to the stage on Good Friday, April 14th. Now, we're going to do that just after 9 a.m. this morning. We'll have our live drawing right here on the air for you and also on our video stream as well, okay? So that's coming up just after 9 a.m. And prior to that, right around 8.45, we're going to have an interview by phone with Jordan Feliz. Now, Jordan's coming to the Benton Civic Center tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. The beloved tour, not only uh, Jordan Feliz, but uh, Dan Brimness and Grayson Reed. And to, you can go to BentonCivicCenter.com and purchase your tickets. All right, now tickets will be available at the door, but if you want tickets, you can go right now to Benton Civic Center. Dot com and purchase tickets for the beloved tour again with Jordan Feliz, Dan Brimness, Grayson Reed at 7 o'clock Saturday night at the Benton Civic Center. We're going to talk with Jordan by phone around 845 this morning, find out about his music, his ministry, and being on this tour with Dan Brimness and Grayson Reed. Many people will remember Grayson, uh, Mike Grayson from the group Mike's Chair. Well, his wife is Molly Reed, and now they've formed uh, Grayson Reed, and they're out on tour and with Jordan Feliz right now on the Beloved Tour. So that's tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. And again, we'll talk with Jordan right around 8.45. So we got a lot to cover this morning right here on The Vine. We'll also have our uh, Friday riddle, and we'll also have a movie clip for you today on The Vine Morning Show where we're going to give you a chance to identify the movie. We've got some cool prizes, and we're also going to give away two general admission tickets to the Love Worth Fighting For Marriage event. Coming to Wayne City High School Gym on Sunday, February 5th, begins at 4 o'clock, features Kirk Cameron and uh, Christian recording artist Warren Barfield together. And we have two general admission tickets we're going to give away this morning along with a gift certificate from Ray's Doghouse and two CDs, one from Chris August and the other one, I believe, from, uh, let me check here. That's what I thought. The Newsboys, all right? So we're going to give those away coming up a little bit later on this morning. Write this number down. You'll need this number to call in for the riddle and the movie clip, 895-3030. And I'll give you a clue, all right? Mr. Big, Mr. Big, what movie are we talking about, all right? So keep listening and your chance to call in and win coming up a little bit later on this morning right here on The Vine, all right? And Kelly and Jimmy will be joining me in the studio in a little bit, so stay tuned. We've got a lot coming up for you. As we end the week on a positive note on Fun Day Friday right here on the Vine Morning Show. But right now it's time for Kinder Smiley, Live Life Intentionally. It's underwritten by Wibbles Repair and Sales, and they are located in McLeansburg. 105.5 and 90.9 The Vine thanks Wibbles Repair and Sales in McLeansboro for their monthly underwriting support of local Christian radio. They repair small engines and ag equipment, and they sell small engine parts, including oil filters and belts. They have agriculture aftermarket parts, interstate batteries, big truck parts, and truck lighting. As steel and Husqvarna dealers, they offer a wide variety of chainsaws, trimmers, and cutoff saws. Wibbles Repair and Sales in McLeansboro. Their phone number, 618-648-2 Open Monday through Friday, Saturdays till noon. Welcome to Live Life Intentionally with author and national speaker, Kendra Smiley. The word relationship has taken on a whole new meaning since the advent of Facebook. To tell you the truth, I'm still not exactly sure what it means. One of my favorite teenagers is in a relationship. And up to this point, even she hasn't been able to provide me with what I would deem a concise and accurate definition. I don't bring this up to have you connect with me and help me by giving me your interpretation. I merely want you to consider a more important relationship, the most important one. Are you in a relationship with the God of the universe? That's what he wants. He wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy 2.4 Status? Saved. Saved by a personal, passionate relationship with the one, the only one, who can guarantee that relationship will last forever. Establishing a relationship with him, the next right choice. For more encouragement to make the next right choice, visit KendraSmiley.com. Hotter than a Samsung in your pocket. The music. Sizzling. On 105.5 and 90.9, The Vine. Surround me with a 
song of deliverance from my enemy till all my fears are gone. I know. Christian Radio for you <laughs> and your family. 90.9 The Vine. Time and space 
Music and ministry and that helps you connect with God. That is from the group Skillet and their song called Stars. We've got sports all on the way, the weather, and much more for you. It's Fun Day Friday and the Vine Morning Show continues right here at Real Life Radio. Real Life Radio is thankful for the financial partnership we have with Greenwald & Sons Construction in Wayne City and in Mount Vernon. They specialize in residential and commercial construction and remodeling. They have a long list of satisfied customers spanning over 38 years. Whether it's a church addition, business expansion, or new home construction, Greenwald & Sons Construction of Wayne City and Mount Vernon are experts that you can depend on. Their phone number is 895-2044. And we thank them for their support of local Christian radio. Mark Dinsmore Country Financial in Wayne City is a faithful underwriting sponsor of 105.5 and 90.9 The Vine. Mark Dinsmore Country Financial is your full service insurance provider from home and auto to life and health to a full line of financial and retirement products. Mark Dinsmore Country Financial is located at 210 North Main in Wayne City and their phone number is 895-2989. Hi, this is Ken Gordon, worship leader at Christian Fellowship Church in Mount Vernon. At CFC, it is our desire to see men and women become true disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. On Sunday, we have adult Bible study and Sunday school for children at 9 a.m., followed by worship at 10. For more information, please visit our website at mvcfc.org or call us at 244-7466. Please join us at Christian Fellowship Church, where every member is a minister. Real Life Radio is thankful for the underwriting support of Jeff Donahoe Insurance Agency in Mount Vernon. Jeff Donahoe Insurance Agency has offered multi peril crop insurance, providing revenue protection for farmers since 1978. They are located at 1121 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Their toll-free phone number is 866-276-7626. Jeff Donahoe Insurance Agency, the crop insurance specialist. Messes usually don't make me feel thankful. Hi, I'm Lisa Turkers with Proverbs 31 Ministries. I remember the day when my children were younger and I counted more than 14 pairs of shoes spread carelessly around the room I was in, and I was not a happy mama. But as I mentally chided my children for not being grateful enough to put their shoes away, I felt God gently reprimand me. 
Was I modeling thankfulness? Those shoes were evidence of life, a life full of people I love. And I realized I could look at their shoes and feel drained and frustrated or filled up and thankful. Every day we have a choice. We can look at the messes in our lives, the piles of shoes, dirty dishes, laundry, and frown. Or we can see all these things as rich evidence of life and smile. For more encouragement, visit Proverbs 31 Ministries and click on Lisa's blog at Proverbs31.org. Local Christian Radio with local people you know. Changing music for Southern Illinois. It's local Christian radio, 105.5 and 90.9 The Vine. This is the stuff that is Francesca Battistelli. It is time right now to check the area sports report this morning. And it is being underwritten by Lang Taylor Home Furnishings. And they're located in Bonnie. Dean and Kathy Taylor of Lang Taylor Home Furnishings are happy to be a supporter of 90.9 The Vine. With over 90 years of serving Southern Illinois, they specialize in superior customer service, friendly smiles, and quality furniture such as Simply Amish, Best Home Furnishings, and Justice Furniture. Their slogan at Lang Taylor is, it's cheaper in the country. They are located in Bonnie at 105 West 3rd Street and their phone number is 242-3929. Find them on Facebook for more information and their hours of operation. Good morning, everyone. Time now to check sports on this Friday morning. Junior high boys basketball action last night. New Hope beat Jeff 57-32. It was Fairfield beating Mount Carmel 50-32 and Sisney over Albion by the score of 53-19. Boys high school basketball. The Carmine White County Invitational Tournament last night. Mount Vernon, Indiana beat Fairfield Mule 60-56. Carmine White County over Harrisburg 
63-49. The Midland Trail Conference Tournament. Last night, the ninth place game, Clay City beat Sandoval 58-49. The semifinal between Woodlawn and Christ R. Rock Lutheran. Woodlawn won that game over Christ R. Rock Lutheran. 45-28 in the semifinal game, Waltonville. They beat Weber 43-41. Now the Constellation Championship will be held Saturday afternoon at 3. Wayne City will take on Grayville. Third place game Saturday at 4.30. It'll be Christ R. Rock Lutheran and Weber. And the championship game Saturday night at 6 p.m. It'll be Woodlawn and Waltonville. The Salem Invitational Tournament. Central, you beat Matt Toon 44-21. Effingham over Andrew Osborne Academy out of Ohio. 72-43. The Sparta Midwinter Classic. Alton Marquette beat Redbud 58-31. Murfreesboro 62. Waterloo 54. And Steelville beat Trico 64-45. The West Frankfurt Midwinter Classic. Cairo beat Anna Jonesboro 71-68. The Egyptian Midwinter Classic. Jop over Lovejoy 75-63. Johnston City, they beat El Dorado 60-56. The Belleville East Chick-fil-A Classic last night. Alton beat McClure, Missouri, 74-59 in St. Mary's, Missouri, over Columbia, 69-62. The Massac County Superman Classic, Massac County over Fort Campbell, Kentucky, 80-59, and Goreville beat Vienna, 70-55. The Nashville Invitational, two topless beat Modern Day, 65-38, and Breeze Central over Mascouda, 54-34. The Oakville Invitational, Westland beat Madison, 61-60, and Waterloo Jabot over DuCoin, 51-48. The... Boys basketball regular season games last night. A couple of games. Cumberland beat Neoga 59-44 in Galatia over Ziegler Ralton 69-59. Girls high school basketball. The El Dorado Lady Eagle Classic. Anna Jonesboro beat Vianna 49-41. Benton over Gallatin County 46-42. And El Dorado beat Mount Carmel 49-44. Carbondale Midwinter Classic. Massac County beat Marion 40-34. Carterville over Mount Vernon 57-40. Carbondale over Mascouda 57 38. Effingham round robin. Vandalia beat Paris 47-36. Centralia over Effingham 49-48. The Highland Tournament. Hillsboro beat Salem 64-32. Nashville 49. Triad 28. Highland over O'Fallon 59-44. The Little Illini Conference Tournament. The Consolation went to Flora as they beat Lawrenceville 46-37. Third place Newton over Alney 43-34. And Championship won by Marshall over Paris 43-37. National Trail Conference Tournament. North Clay defeated Cowden Herrick Beecher City 48-46. And Altamont over Neoga 68-56. The West Frankfurt Midwinter Classic. Cesar Valier Waltonville beat Pingneyville 61-26. Heron over West Frankfurt 61-31. Other games, regular season games in girls high school basketball. Grice Darrock Lutheran over Weber 67-31. Civic Memorial 66, Columbia 35. Lutheran North Missouri 57, Metro East Lutheran 29. Lebanon beat Dupo 66-27, St. Louis 50, Alton 41, Elvarado over Dongola 61-49. Father McGivney beat Sandoval 62-45, Freeburg 57, Waterloo Jabot 37, Meridian over Century 76-48. High school wrestling last night, Mount Vernon beat Fairfield. Now on the schedule tonight, Carmi White County Invitational Tournament, Mount Vernon and Mount Carmel. Mount Vernon, Indiana and Mount Carmel will play at 6 p.m. and 7.30. Carmi White County and Fairfield playing. The Benton Invitational Tournament, Carlisle and Hamilton County at 5.30, Benton and Cesar Valier at 7, and Meridian and Pinckneyville at 8.30. The Nashville Invitational Tournament, Breeze, Modern Day, and Mascouda at 6.30, Nashville and Tutopolis at 8 o'clock. The Sparta Midwinter Classic, Murphy's Burl and Trico at 5.30, Freeburg and Redbud at 7, and Sparta and Alton Marquette at 8.30. The Egyptian Midwinter Tournament, Johnston City will play Century at 6, and Joppa will play Egyptian at 7.30. The Massac County Superman Classic, Championship semifinal, Carbondale will take on Paducah Tillman at 6.15, Graves County, Kentucky, and Charleston, Missouri at 7.45. Now the Constellation Championship is set for Saturday at 4.30. That'll be Massac County and Goreville. Seventh place game Saturday at 3, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, and Vianna. Oakville Invitational Tournament, Waterloo Jabot will take on Westland tonight at 6. And Madison will take on Oakville at 7.30. The West Frankfurt Midwinter Classic, Carterville and Christopher play. At 5.30, West Frankfurt and El Dorado at 7, Heron and Marion at 8.30. And the Little Illini Conference Tournament, Paris will be playing Flora tonight at 7. Regular season game tonight, Edwards County and North Clay will play basketball in uh, boys high school basketball tonight. High school girls basketball, Wayne City will be at Christ Star Rock Lutheran. Junior high boys basketball, the 38th annual Sisney Middle School 7th grade tournament will be played. And at 4 o'clock this afternoon, Jasper. 
will take on NCOE. At 515, Wayne City will take on New Hope. At 6.30, Jeff and Clay City will play in the 7.45, Sisney and Iuka. Some baseball news for you this morning. The Baltimore Orioles and slugger Mark Trumbo have agreed to a three-year deal worth $37.5 million. Trumbo led the big leagues with 47 home runs in 2016, helping the Orioles reach the postseason for the third time in five years. It was the first career playoff appearance for Trumbo, who was named an All-Star for the second time. And that is a check of sports for you on this Friday morning. I'm Mark Wells reporting. Save the date. You and your love are invited to an evening that will make you laugh, love, and look forward to the future. Learn from the words and wisdom of TV and movie star Kirk Cameron. The most important thing is to have the heart of your spouse or everything falls apart. With musical stylings and comedy by Warren Barfield. My wife is a clean freak. My house is spotless right now. There are vacuum marks on my carpet. She is passionate about those vacuum marks. And we were hanging out and we were eating some pretzels. And I was lifting a pretzel toward my mouth and I fumbled it. And it landed on our floor and destroyed our home. If you're in a relationship, this night is for you. It's called Love Worth Fighting For, a marriage event designed to encourage your relationship. Join us at the Love Worth Fighting For marriage event featuring Kirk Cameron and Warren Barfield. Sunday, February 5th at 4 p.m. at Wayne City High School Gymnasium in Wayne City. Tickets available at Wayne City Baptist Church. Open a future Christian bookstore in Fairfield or look for the Love Worth Fighting For marriage event banner on our website and order tickets today at wvyn.org. Time now to check the area weather forecast and this morning it's underwritten by Home Source Warehouse and they're located in Mount Vernon. Monthly financial support of local Christian radio is provided by Home Home Source Warehouse in Mount Vernon. Located four miles north of Mount Vernon on Route 37, Home Source Warehouse offers a warehouse full of quality furniture and mattresses with legendary service. Open Thursday and Friday 10 to 6, Saturday 10 to 3. You can find them on Facebook and their website is homesourcewarehouse.net. Their phone number is 204-5515. Home Source Warehouse, where style is affordable. Well, areas of dense fog this morning, and we'll have cloudy skies basically all day, but uh, not bad temperature-wise. 55 for the high, partly cloudy tomorrow, even warmer. 65 the high. Chance of rain on Sunday, high 59, and then Monday, partly cloudy skies and a high of 45. Right now in the area, Malvern at 50, Carmi 52, Cleansboro also at 52, Fairfield 51 in Wayne City right now, 51. Here's Ryan Stevenson, Eye of the Storm. It's coming up next right here at the bottom.
I just don't know how I'm gonna make ends meet I did my best, now I'm scared to death that we might lose everything And when a sickness takes my child away and there's nothing I can do My only hope is to trust you I trust you, Lord In the eye of the storm You remain in control It's Ryan Stevenson from Real Life Radio, 105.5 at 90.9 The Vine, Eye of the Storm. Time right now for To Your Health with Lyle Dean. And the one-minute feature this morning, it's underwritten by Fairfield Memorial Hospital. This is Jimmy Joe McClary with a message about Fairfield Memorial Hospital's physical therapy services. I was simply amazed at the level of professionalism, knowledge, and care I received during my cardiac rehabilitation. And I felt a sense of pride knowing that it was my hometown hospital. The friendly staff and therapists closely monitored and supervised my cardiac therapy, and thanks to them, I'm on the way to complete recovery. If you are in need of any kind of physical therapy, I highly recommend our hometown hospital, Fairfield Memorial Hospital. Despite a study showing the death rate from drugs, alcohol, and mental disorders with alarming increases since 1980, another study suggests teen substance abuse showing a promising decline. The journal JAMA reported on causes and numbers of deaths in more than 3,000 counties. The study found causes of death were similar, but the numbers of deaths varied widely by county even in the same state. Meanwhile, the National Institutes of Health showed continuation of a long-term decline by teens of many illicit substances including marijuana, alcohol, tobacco, and misuse of prescription medications. Director of the National Drug Control Policy, Michael Botticelli, urges further efforts to prevent and treat teen drug abuse. To Your Health a community service of Fairfield Memorial Hospital and WVYN, The Vine. I'm Lyle Dean. And welcome back to The Vine Morning Show. Here we are. It's fun day Friday. I'm Mark, and uh, Kelly is in the studio. Jimmy's on his way. Good morning, Kelly. How are you this morning? Well, good morning, Mark. I'm battling sinus issues over here, as you see. Yeah, yeah. You've got the hacking and coughing oh, going on. Oh, <laughs> and uh, my eyes just keep running. Yeah. Couldn't you imagine? I mean, you know, what do you expect this time of year? <sighs> you know, you don't, you don't expect... Like yesterday, thunderstorms in the forecast, and uh, you don't expect that at, no. in the middle of January, and you don't expect the high temperature today of 55. No, I'm forecast. ready for cooler temperatures. I'd rather it be sunny and cold out right now. Well, you know what? Do you, let me, let me. Uh, I, I do too because I want it to clean to kill the germs. Oh yes. But do you realize we are about uh, 63 days from the first day of spring? I know. I'm counting down. Are you really? Yes, yeah. every day. <laughs> yeah. I cannot wait. Hey, we welcome those that are watching our uh, live video stream this morning on our website wvyn.org. Thanks for tuning in this morning. As uh, I'm Mark, and that's Kelly, and Jimmy will be here, and this is uh, the gold thing behind us that you see is a tumbler, Kelly. I know. Don't that look exciting? B- feel like B5. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we're getting ready to play a big game of yeah. bingo. Yeah, I'm back here. And I I'm, love bingo. I, yeah, I'm turning it right. That's what I think it is. It's a yeah. bingo tumbler. But anyway, it's a tumbler anyway. But there's paper in it. Yes, and we're picking three winners out, right? That's right. Oh, That's right. Cannot As, wait. If you're watching on our live in, in stream or on on stream, uh, if you're on video stream this morning, I'm trying to concentrate and turn this at the same time here. On our website at wvyn.org, we're going to be drawing in the 9 o'clock hour just after 9 this morning. Three winners, Kelly. That's right. For two front row tickets to Casting Crowns. Yes. So I'm turning these and rotating this occasionally just to kind of get... All these mixed well, up. Well, when Jimmy gets here, yeah. he'll be he'll be yeah. shuffling them the whole time. Yeah. You just keep turning. We got entries from Carbondale, Marion, uh, Mount Vernon, Fairfield, Louisville, Flora, Salem, uh, Centralia, Wayne City, cool. all over. 
Good. So, yeah, yeah. How awesome is that? Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're going to draw. All the entries are in that Tumblr right wow. there. If you entered to win front row tickets to see Casting Crowns, Danny Gokey and Unspoken, Good Friday, April 14th, your name is in this Tumblr back here. And we're going to draw out three winners, and each will receive two front row tickets. No, that is so yeah. cool. Yeah, so we're going to do that at uh, <coughs> just after 9 this morning. But prior to that, around 845, we're going to talk with Jordan Feliz. Yeah, Jordan's that's going to call gonna us. be neat. And uh, the Beloved Tour is coming to the, to the Benton Civic Center tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Tickets are available on BentonCivicCenter.com website. And you'll be able to purchase tickets at the door tomorrow. And um, the uh, I'll get the prices for you on those tickets here in just okay. a few moments. However, uh, we're going to talk with him at 845 uh, this morning as he'll be with Dan Brimness and Grayson Reed tomorrow night yeah. in concert. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk with him at 845. We've also got our uh, movie clip today that we're going to play and a Friday riddle. And uh, I uh, gave the clue Mr. Big earlier. I know, and I had two guesses already. And you're wrong. One. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Sorry, you're wrong. Not doing good. Let me give you another one, okay? Uh, Chief Bogo. Chief Bogo. Buy one, get one? No, Chief Bogo. <laughs> no. Bogo, no. buy one, get one. Oh, no, no, no. Uh. No, Chief Bogo and Mr. Big are your two clues. Hmm. Now, what movie clip are we talking about here? Mm, that could be a tough one for some people this morning. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you've watched this movie or not. Well, I may not have. My wife has. I haven't watched it yet. She said it's a very cute movie. So cute. That, so that'll give you another. That that might give you another clue. You know, it's a cute movie. All right. So, Mr. Big and Chief Bogo. What movie are we talking about? Hmm. Good question, right? Yeah. We've got some cool prizes to give away. We have got a gift certificate from Ray's Doghouse, two CDs, one from the Newsboys, one from Chris August, and get this, we're going to give away two general admission tickets to the Love Worth Fighting for Marriage <gasps> event at Wayne City High School Gym. It's general admission tickets on Sunday, February 5th. I saw the lineup oh, yeah. of, of all the different cities that they're touring yeah, through. That's, yeah. that's, they're going to be busy for a while. Now, how often do uh, does Kirk Cameron and Warren Barfield get an opportunity I to come know. to Wayne City, Illinois? So yeah. excited about yeah. that. I know that is Super Bowl Sunday. I understand that, but here we go. Guys, I'm going to step on your toes again. All right, guys. What's more important, your marriage or just the Super right. Bowl? and DVR. DVR and, then, it. and then get to it when you get Home. That's right. That's what we'll That's be right. doing. Uh, a couple of guys and I had this discussion about three weeks ago, and he said, "You know what? You got a good point there." And he went out and he bought tickets for him and his wife. Oh, good. And I said, and "I said, you know what? I said it's something to think about. I said there'll always be a Super Bowl." I said, "How often do you think Kirk Cameron and yeah, Warren Barfield uh, is going to be in Southern Illinois?" This is a lifetime thing, and, and we're very lucky oh, that he's goodness. coming yeah. here. Thanks to Wayne, Pastor John Little, Wayne City yeah. Baptist Church. Yeah, tickets are available for that. You can go to Wayne City Baptist Church to get tickets. Orchardville Church has tickets. And uh, Hope in a Future Christian Bookstore in Fairfield has tickets well, as well. Well, hopefully we'll have a packed house. Yeah. Uh, Pastor John was here with me uh, a little over a week ago, and uh, they have uh, quite a few people already, like 400, over 400 coming so far. Oh, that's awesome. And getting responses, more and more responses. For well, especially today. when it gets closer to the date, mm -hmm. they'll for sure go. Yeah. And I'm um, working on an interview with Kirk Cameron. <laughs> So Yay. we'll be talking with Kirk about uh, this Love Worth Fighting For marriage event. And also, that's coming up. So don't know the yet the date yet. The details still being worked out. But Oh, uh, speaking of date, I got to tell you just made me think of something. Oh, really? <laughs> speaking of date, mm -hmm. we are going on an all-day uh, rendezvous tomorrow to see if she's going to say yes to the dress. Yes to the dress tomorrow. We have, yep. Oh, all We've right. got a posse of us going out to see if she's going to say yes to the dress. That's kind of like a um, like a reality TV show. I know, say it yes is. to the dress. We, yeah, we've got the <laughs> shirts and everything. I'm so excited. Really? really. Hey, uh, that, that'll be awesome. That'll I know, awesome. and you know, I'm just laying in bed last night, and I told Dennis, I said, wow, you know, it, I don't know how it's going to hit me when I see my daughter coming sure. out in a wedding gown. I'm sure. I don't know. Sure. Yeah. So anyway, we're, we got a big day tomorrow. So yeah, yes day. to the dress. All right. Yeah. All right. 
Hey, we want to let everyone know, too, on a more serious note real quick here, and then we'll uh, get off the serious note here. But uh, Jesse, the intern, is not with us this morning. Uh, Jesse was admitted last night to Children's Hospital in St. Louis. He's battling an illness. I uh, won't go into detail what, what's going on with Jesse. It's it's a serious situation. Yes, it is. Uh, please keep uh, Jesse in your prayers. Uh, put him on your prayer list at church. Uh, he needs your prayers right now. The whole entire family yes, does. All right. Absolutely. Yeah, I tell you hospital. what. Yeah, I was tough. looking so forward to seeing him this morning, you know, because I've been missing him. Mm-hmm. And or he's been a little under the weather sure. or, yeah. you know, where we've had bad weather or something. And then here, I, yeah. he's not here yeah. again today. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, Jesse, he's a great, great kid. He's loved by many. He's a senior at Wayne City High School this year. And he's got a heart heart of gold. Oh, he loves he God. does. And, you know, and just keep Jesse in your prayers. Yes. It's very important. Very would, important. Please. And I'll keep you updated as, as to what's going yes, on. Yes, we, we absolutely will. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you... It, it's on our Facebook page, Real Life Radio 90.9 The Vine. And if you want to go there and, and, and uh, say you're praying for Jesse, yeah. please do. Yeah, please do. Yeah, we we'll do. Let, we'll let them. And his mom will see that. Mm-hmm. He will see that, and it will mean so much to Oh, them. it will mean so much to Jesse. Mm-hmm. Yep. Any little any little kind thing from anybody, it will just mean so much to him. Right, right. So keep Jesse and his entire family in your prayers, all right? Hey, do you remember... When we were in school and we'd get our report cards and everything. Yeah. And you'd bring it uh. home, you might have an A, B, C, D, maybe an E on it. Remember? Yeah. Remember E? And you try to change the D into a mm-hmm. B mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or the E into a B. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know, they have changed all that, Kelly. There is no E in grade now. N- no E not. grade. There is no E grade. Uh, Mount Holyoke College in Massachusetts uh, started the modern letter, excuse me, grade system back in 1897. And so that kind of grew over America, over time. And the letter system caught on with teachers because its simplicity made their jobs simpler as they became responsible for grading more students. All right. So Mount Holyoke defined their original scale, A, for excellent, equivalent to 90 to 95 to 100%. B was good. Remember, you get A, B, or good, excellent, good, yes. fair, passed, or failed, right? A, B, C, D, E. Well, E was quickly replaced with F because F for failed was more intuitive than E for excellent or failed. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. 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 So I remember, I didn't, I, you know, I'll have to, I don't remember an E on my grade card. Oh, I remember one time I had one. <laughs> I think maybe, you know, now that I ever do, I think I man, had two. Mm-hmm. But, uh. It freaks yeah. you out. It yeah. just devastates you. Yeah, yeah, it does. And you <laughs> remember, good. Mom always said, you know, I, you, you get an E, we're going to have to work harder in that subject. And boy, did we work harder in that. Yeah, I remember two that I think. Yeah. I'm trying to recall two, but, but yeah, now it's now it's F. It's not E. They take they've taken E out. Uh, e means failed now, but now they've replaced it with F. Okay. So they yeah, no E in grade anymore. Wow. Yeah. So well, isn't that amazing? You, w- you would think they would take E out because, I mean, E looks like excellent. Yeah. Well, that's it, what, you know, It really does. Yeah. That's what it makes you think of. Yeah. You go, hey, Mom, I got I got an E. I got All excellent. All he knew was E was bad. <laughs> yeah, E was bad. <laughs> but A is excellent. A yeah. means excellent. B means good. C means fair. D means passed. And E means fail. But now E has been replaced with F. <laughs> yes. That, that should have been done a long so, time ago. Hopefully it's not too confusing for <laughs> I many know. people. Yeah, yeah, it so kind anyway. of is. Yeah. So anyway, um, hey, yeah. we're going to look at uh, we're going to look at all two also uh, food combinations that sound weird when you think about it, but enjoyed by many. I tell you what, we've got a couple moments. Let's do a couple. Yeah, because right? I want to know what these are. Red velvet cakes. <gasps> yes, you I not, love you like, it. You like red velvet? Why color a cake red, especially when it doesn't even taste anything like it's red? I know because it's basically chocolate. It's just chocolate. Yeah. But they call it red velvet cake. But it's enjoyed by many. So I it know. doesn't taste red. It doesn't taste velvety. <laughs> I wonder who thought about making a chocolate cake red. I know. Think I don't about know. But, but they're so good. It's wonderful. Oh, it's, it's great. All right. Here's another one. Combining sweet potatoes and toasted marshmallows. Now, sweet potato casserole is delicious, but the concept of combining any vegetable with a melted candy is just very weird. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it is. It's great. I, yeah, I, 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 I can't do it. I just can't do it. You can't do sweet potatoes and marshmallows? Nope, nope, I can't do it. Oh my gosh, you I, don't know what you're missing out on. I, I can't do it. 
I, that, I just, I just can't do it. The highlight of the Thanksgiving meal is the sweet potatoes topped with toasted marshmallows. I, I just can't do it for some reason. I don't have, know. Have you not tried it? I've tried it, but I just can't acquire the taste for it. Because when I think of sweet potatoes, I think of them being cooked on the grill with uh, with uh, onion, butter, and all the seasoning on it. <gasps> oh, you've never had that before? Well, I've ha- I I like have them like that, but with cinnamon and sugar. Now see, no, 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 no. Onion? Oh yeah, cook them on a grill, cut them up, and then put them on a grill, season them, you know, with some uh, seasoning salt, and put some onion on them. Put them on the grill, and then cook them like you would other like regular potatoes on the grill. Sweet potatoes? Oh my, they're good. Now see, mm. you don't like that, just like I can't. Think about sweet potatoes and toasted marshmallows. Yeah, together. because I, I don't think of I just think of regular white potatoes like mm, that. No, no, no. I can't. Th- no, no, no. Try it one time. Have Dennis mm. fix it on the grill or something. No, it would be me fixing well, okay. it on the grill. Well, then you fix it. On he, the grill. he needs to get more into that. Oh, this I, summer. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> well. Oh, it, it, it's good. It really is. Here's another one. We got one time. One uh, time for one more. Okay. Putting a ton of ice in their water, no matter the season. Now, it's refreshing in the summer, but why put five cubes in your drink in the middle of January? Well, to like this month, I you know, might but need I it. still do it. Yeah. Everybody likes a cold, cold drink. I know, I know. And, you know, you think about it in January, well, you're supposed to be thinking like zero degree weather <laughs> and snow, not 55 degree weather. I know, you're right. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so those are just some weird food combination. Sounds weird, but people enjoy it. It's enjoyed by men. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what you think about it. It makes you think a minute about it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're going to come back in a little bit. Uh, We'll have our uh, movie clips. Uh, We've got our drawing in an hour from now. So keep listening and see if your name's pulled Mm -hmm. out for some tickets. And Jordan Fellini's interview at 845 this morning. Much more on the way. We're going to do that when we come back. Jimmy will be joining us here in the studio and more to come. As Fun Day Friday on the Vine Morning Show continues right here at Real Life Radio. This is your home for best Christian music. WVYN, Blueford Wayne City, Fairfield, Mount Vernon. And now on translator, W288CO Centralia, broadcasting at 105.5. A service of Real Life Radio Foundation. The best Christian music, 90.9 The Vine. And now, from the 90.9 The Vine newsroom, it's news break. All the news you need to know from a positive perspective. This news break is brought to you by People's National Bank. With multiple banking locations in Southern Illinois to serve you. People's National Bank has the best of both worlds. Big Bank products offered from your local family-owned community bank. Products like free checking, online banking, personal and business mobile banking, and mobile deposit. People's National Bank has the products and services to meet your personal and business financial needs in today's world. Stop by any People's National Bank branch and ask about any one of these great products. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC, wireless and service fees may apply. Welcome to your Friday edition of the Vine News Break. I'm Burr McGuire with news that affects you. Fairfield City Police have questioned a student in connection with a threat communicated to Fairfield Community High School Wednesday afternoon. Nearly simultaneously, two students spotted the alleged threat on social media and notified school officials. Law enforcement was contacted immediately. Students had already been dismissed for the day, and the student believed to have been involved in the threat was detained by police. The Fairfield Chamber of Commerce is accepting nominations for the Business of the Year and Community Service Award. Nominations should be submitted to the Chamber Office no later than February 10th. Local volunteers in Mount Vernon are working with the City Parks and Recreation Department to reclaim property at J.C. Lake for a bike trail. The proposed trail will be located on about 30 acres of property owned by the city at J.C. Lake. Eventually, a small parking area would be included and picnic spots near the water line, as well as benches for lookout areas over the lake. Kaskaski College will hold an open house next Monday, January 23rd at 6 p.m. to reveal the new Academic Center for Excellence. The renovated area will now provide easy access to a variety of learning support services available to Kaskaski College students and the community. These services include assistance with identifying and using library resources, tutoring, placement testing, study groups, proctor testing for online courses, and academic workshops. In addition, there is a computer lab outfitted with hardware, software, and equipment designed to assist those with special needs or disabilities. If you see news happen or have a news item to submit, please call 895-3030 or email your information to newsbreak at wbyn.org. 
I'm Burr McGuire, and that's today's news break on 105.5 and 9.9 The Vine. Music and ministry that is always uplifting and encouraging. It is local Christian radio, 105.5 and 90.9 Divine. From the group The Afters and Light Up the Sky, it is 807. Sunday, Friday, Divine Morning Show. And I'm Mark, and there's Kelly, and there's Jimmy. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. And thanks for those that are tuned in, watching our live video stream this morning on our website, wbyn.org. Uh, we welcome you, and you're thinking, well, what's that big uh, thing there by Jimmy? It's and my new toy. It's his I, know. <laughs> I, I told you he'd have <laughs> yeah. fun with that. Yeah. yeah. It's the Tumblr that has all the entries for the drawing for the three lucky winners who will each receive two Casting Crowns tickets, guys, in less than an hour from now. How awesome nice. is that? Nice. It's, it's an exciting morning. Yes. Very. It sure is. Giving that away, talking to Jordan Valise. That's right. At 845. We finally have all three of us here. I know. And maybe... <laughs> the fake just, ice that came in last week. Yeah. Yes. And just maybe <laughs> next Friday we'll have sunshine with us. We might. Uh, well, you do have sunshine Friday. with you. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there that you go. That was coming. Yeah. He's wearing a cool <laughs> hat this morning. Red. Got my, got my all red. Fellowship Christian athletes, yeah. Yes. On. So yeah, yeah. So, and right, I, you I heard you guys sometime. talking about the grade system yeah. before yeah. the yeah. before the top of this hour. Yeah, yeah. In Tennessee, where I'm where I'm from, 
We didn't have E. You didn't when it came e. to grades. Okay. For 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 grades, we had A, which was excellent. Mm-hmm. B was above average. C was average. D was below average, and then F for fail. Oh, okay. But we had E's for conduct. Oh. oh. We got conduct grades: E for excellent, S for satisfactory, now and I remember. U for unsatisfactory. Uh, now I remember. I remember those that. in grade school. Yeah. S and U. Yeah. yeah. I remember all that. Now that I'm flashing back a little, a little mm-hmm. further. Yeah. But isn't it amazing how things change over the course of time? Oh, yeah. yes, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. And, and it makes sense when you stop and think about it. Well, how come they didn't do that way back then? No. Now they think, oh, wow, new idea. And they'll probably come up with some kind of another addition to the grading system in maybe a few more years from now. You just never know. But yeah. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I forgot about the S and the, yeah, and the U. Yeah, thanks for yeah. bringing that up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he says he knows the movie Oh, clip. I knew he would. Yeah, I'm, getting right, I'm getting ready to write it down and show right, it to you. Yeah, because we've given two clues this morning, Chief Bogo and Mr. Big. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. He is right. And I've never seen the movie. Yeah, no, see, he hasn't either. I haven't either, but Sher- Sherry has, and she says, because we play this every day, I, I pick these out and everything, and I give her, I-, I didn't even give her those two clues, I give her another one, and she told me the name of it, and I thought, how do you know we've never seen it? She's seen it with Serenity. Yes. Yes, and I, it's the, grand, the granddaughter, and I've, my, I've heard my nieces talk about it. Mm-hmm. It's a cute movie. Wonder it's what I hear. I've seen it. And I do remember seeing, I saw the previews, and the previews are yeah, really cute. Yeah, and yeah. I, just, I just haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Do you know? I do remember being upset that they went and saw it without me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's why I thought when we were playing this yesterday, I thought, when did you see it? And she told me when, you know, when it was, when she was babysitting and everything. But you know it opened to a record-breaking box office success in several countries. <laughs> our I didn't touch just, it. Our tumbler just tumbled. <laughs> wow, that's weird. <laughs> it grossed over $1 billion, making it the third highest grossing film of 2016 and the highest, the 25th highest grossing film of all time. So those are some additional clues. 2016. Yeah. Hmm. It mm. seems very recent. Yeah. Very it does. Recent. Yeah. It was one of the top 10 films of 2016. Now, don't call in yet. But we'll give you an opportunity. We're just giving some clues. Yeah, giving some clues. We'll play those movie clips coming up for you here in a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Big day coming up today here on the Bobby Morning Show. Mr. Big and Chief Bogo. So, And it's not think? Mr. Big, the late 80s, early 90s rock band. Mm-hmm. That's right. Remember them? Oh, yes. I remember, them. I remember them, too. Kelly had to think about that one, huh? I know. I thought you were getting at something else. Yeah, they didn't. <laughs> They were were they a one hit wonder band? To be with you, that was their that big was hit. their big hit. Oh wasn't it? yeah, yeah, that was their big hit. I remember that. Hey, you know we were talking about weird food combinations, right? Though, when you think about it, but enjoyed by many. You want to continue that now? Sh- yeah. Calling shredded cheese mozzarella. Mozzarella isn't meant to be processed or in shredded. It's meant to be eaten fresh. I know. Yeah. Good. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hawaiian pizza. Oh, I love that. You do? Do you mm-hmm. really? I don't think I... Uh, With ham and pineapple? Yes. Yeah. Pineapple, and according... My Jennifer loves that. Do you? I mm-hmm. do. Well, according to this, pineapple should never be anywhere near a pizza, let alone on top of it. But oh, if you ask My wife people, will disagree with that. Well, you know, many yeah. people... I th- my wife will, too. She loves it. I think one of I the best pizzas you can yeah. get, and, and Domino's makes that, mm-hmm. is a ham and mushroom and pineapple. And really? it's their, I think it's a hand tossed or something. It is fantastic. Well, since you're mentioning names, yes, I got to tell you, the ham and pineapple from Pizza Man is pretty awesome because pretty good. He huh? uses real pineapples. Ooh, wow! Fresh pineapple. Fresh pineapples. He uses. Ooh, oh, that would be good. Fresh pineapples. Yep. Wow. That, that, that I would haven't be. had. And, and that I know that for a there. fact because I'm friends with the owner. So. All right, I'm, so I'm going to have that one then. So you need to try that. Pineapple on your pizza. Have a Hawaiian pizza. You yeah. Have no problem. Here's another one. According to old Hollywood movies, Americans always have a glass of milk with their dinner. Is that strange or what? Yeah, they always did. I did when I was a kid. Really? Yep. Okay. Wow. I remember having milk as a kid, having dinner. Because yeah. milk was good for your yeah. bones. Milk yeah. is good. Now, I like milk late at night with a snack, maybe a, maybe an Oreo cookie or something. Yeah. Dennis yeah. drinks milk quite yeah. often with oh, the meal, too. Yeah. yeah. And really? there's nothing. Milk is pretty good. I think milk will help. If you're having, like, acid reflux, I think milk will good is good to kind of help soothe mm-hmm. if you're having that issue. There's a new... 
chocolate milk that's out. Chocolate almond milk. Ooh. Oh, have you had it? Oh good. my goodness. It's good? It is heaven. <gasps> it good. is so good. I, I, and it's, it, there's not a whole lot of calories to it. Because uh, I like almond milk. Um, uh, my wife, she loves, and I do too. She's got me hooked on it now. Mm-hmm. Almond milk is good for it. And, and she says she's, and you know, we, more healthy now. Yeah. Right. It's Especially more healthier. The, and, and, we've, and, we've yeah. had, and we've had the almond milk before. Mm-hmm. And we've got, it's good. Yeah. But she yeah. found chocolate almond milk at Kroger. And she brought it home and she goes, you need to try that this. I good. tried it. And I was like, oh my. Ooh. It is so good. It's a little you bit, should try it, Kelly. It's, it's a really little. Good. Wouldn't you say, Jimmy? It's a little bit thicker than regular chocolate. It milk. is a little bit Just thicker, little bit. and it's. I mean, my sister-in-law tried it, and she mm-hmm. said it. It's kind of. It kind. It's kind of like uh, cocoa crispies. Yeah. Or Count Chocula. That that whenever you had the the chocolatey cereals, that when you put mm-hmm. your regular milk in. And then once you're mm-hmm. done with the eating cereal, you've got that little milk that's left over. She goes, it kind of tastes, tastes like, that, like that, but a little bit more chocolatey. A little bit more chocolatey. Ooh, yeah. that sounds good. Mm-hmm. Speaking of adding flavor, adding a ton of different flavors to the coffee, like peppermint mocha, gingerbread latte, pumpkin scot- spice latte. What's wrong with just coffee? Well, what? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> now, in the morning, I think you should just, just have coffee. But mm-hmm. those kind of coffees are good for like an evening or like after, after dinner. Mm, yeah, those are those like are good. Now, see, I could do that. Yeah. Now here's another one. Now, when you think of deep frying, you think of maybe uh, fish and maybe French fries. But deep fried butter, deep fried Oreos. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now you can deep, deep fry Twinkies. Yeah, you can you can deep fry Snickers. Now, yeah. Even yeah. those are good. Those Everything. are good. Yeah. Yeah. Now here's one. A lot of people don't understand this one. Serving fried chicken with waffles and syrup. See, I'm funny about that, too. Kind of, I like how it's worded here. What kind of monster decided to pair these two together? Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, here's one. Frito pie. Have you ever had Frito oh, pie yeah. before? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not a pie, so why do they call it Frito pie? I for? don't know why they call it a pie, but <laughs> it's just kind of like a casserole, really. Yeah. Now, scoop of ice cream in their soda, like a root beer float. Yeah. You know. You know, you think about it, well, that sounds weird, but it's enjoyed by many. That's another one. Oh, it's so good. A root mm-hmm. beer float is so yummy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. And spam. What is it anyway? <laughs> a lot of people love it. Spam. Divine but spam. spam. Yeah, but what is spam? <laughs> it's Hawaiian ham. <laughs> spam? No, it's not. Hawaiian ham. Spam is? Yeah, it's from really? Hawaii. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I never heard of it. I, I, maybe I have. You pulled my leg. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I was going to pull your leg, I would pull your leg. <laughs> Hawaii, spam's from Hawaii? Uh, spam is from, spam Hawaii. Is from Hawaii. Okay, let's, let's Google this and let's find out more right, about it. Hey, and what's the ingredients in yeah, it? It is pretty good, though. Yeah. I like it. And get ready. We're going to play our movie clip here in a moment. All right? Uh, so we're going to do that. Yeah, really, so we're, we're going to do that here in just a moment. So those of you that want to play along this morning, get your phones ready. You're going to have a chance of winning some cool prizes here in a moment. All right? We're going to play our movie clip for you coming up here in just a moment. But Jimmy is finding out. I've never known it to be from Hawaii. Nope, it's not that movie. Kelly put down a movie, and it's not that movie. I've never known it be from Hawaii, Jimmy. Yeah. Spam is from Hawaii. Okay. I've never known that. All right, here we go. Spam. Wikipedia says the place of origin is the United States, okay? Okay. So you go down, and it says it's a brand of canned pre-cooked meat made by Hormel Foods Corporation. It was introduced in 1937 and gained popularity worldwide after its use during Mm -hmm. World War II. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I scroll down a little bit, and the history of it says Spam was introduced in 1937. Um... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? The difficulty of delivering fresh meat to the front during World War II saw Spam become a ubiquitous... Oh, that's a big word. That is yeah. a big word. Say that part, real fast. Ubiquitous. What does that mean? <laughs> part, I don't know. Define. Part <laughs> of the U.S. soldier's diet. It mm-hmm. became variously referred to as ham that didn't pass its physical. Meatloaf without basic training and special army meat. Mm. During, and then during World War II and the occupations which followed, Spam was introduced into Guam, Hawaii, Okinawa, the Philippines, and other islands in the Pacific. Immediately absorbed into native diets, it has become a unique part of the history and effects of U.S. influence in the Pacific. So, mm. okay. that tells me that, no, it's not necessarily from Hawaii, but because of that influence that it had in World War II, people think, people like think, I do, like yeah. I did, yeah. think it's from Hawaii. Okay. And, I mean, if you ever seen that movie Soul Surfer? Yes. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's based in Hawaii. I mean, it's yeah. a true story yeah, it's true. of, uh, yeah. I forget her name, the surfer that lost her arm yeah. in a shark attack. Bethany. Uh, yeah, Bethany Han- Hamilton. Hamilton, I believe. Bethany That's Hamilton. Right. Bethany Hamilton. Um, in, that, in that movie, spam is everywhere. Wow, I didn't notice so, and, that. And, yeah. So, yeah, wow. it's... It's that's, a, I didn't know that. I, know, I have to watch it to find really it out. That's just really weird because weird. you think about that, and how can that stay preserved so long like it is in that gel stuff around it? Mm, I'm Ugh. not sure. I'm not sure. But it does taste so good. My mom would make Spam and Dressing, and it's yummy. Now, I, I mean, this was years ago, Yeah. but it the, was good. The ingredients of Spam. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Pork shoulder. Ham, salt, water, potato starch, sugar, and sodium nitrate. Mm. Nitrite. Oh, that's now, bad for now you. Have you I, now, I have talked to a few people that have had fried Spam. It's before. good. Mm-hmm. It, it is yeah. good like that. Anything fried is good. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tell you so it's the shoulder of a pig? Yeah. I tell, you, <laughs> yeah. I tell you what's making a comeback is fried bologna. Oh, I had uh, that last I've night. I always love fried oh, bologna. Oh, I, I love it, too. Great on a sandwich. Especially that's, when it's that oh, thick. Oh, it's yes. really thick. That's so funny. I told... Dennis was on our way to the tournament mm-hmm. over here in Wayne City last night, and I was driving back from Mount Vernon. I said, hey, throw some of that good bologna in the skillet. I want a fried bologna sandwich. Mm, it's good. With cheese. Yeah, and, oh, and Jimmy's right. The thicker, so the good. better. I had yes. thick bologna. And yep. do you guys still cut it in slits? Yep. 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 Because it, curl, it, it curls, yeah. curls up. Yeah. Yep. My mom always, she she would fix fried bologna occasionally for breakfast, you know. And yep. I, would, I would always think, why is she doing cutting that? It? So I asked her one time, and she says, let me show you. So I watched her, and she showed me, and you're right. You do fry it; does curl up. And I thought, and I thought that's why you yep. cut it because Dennis I always had saw the little slits, little in slits in it. And I always wondered why. And she said, "Well, instead of explaining it to you, I'm going to show you." And mm-hmm. she she showed me, and it was like it makes perfect sense yeah. to me. Yep. So anyway, hey, let's do our movie clip oh, this morning, yeah. guys. All right. Yeah, um, we still got a lot to get to this yeah, morning. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. And over here, Jimmy, is uh, the prize is right there. We've got, I tell you what, you pick out what you want to give, and then we'll explain what you want to give. We've got two CDs and uh, some certificates there this morning. Well, I'll tell you what, let's give away this Chris August, the Maker CD. All right, that sounds good. And All right. we have two tickets to the Love Worth Fighting for Marriage event Ooh, yeah. at the Wayne City High School Gymnasium. February Super Bowl 5th. Sunday. Yes. 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 Which, I'm wait for that. Which, yeah. I mean,. If it was college football, I'd be all over the Super Bowl, but it's yeah. not college football, so yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. So they're general admission tickets, yeah, right. Featuring Kirk Cameron and Warren Barfield on Sunday, so that's a great CD. And guys, gals, this is perfect. Make your plans now, and you can win these tickets right now at six one eight eight nine five thirty thirty. We're going to play our uh, movie clip for you this morning. We gave uh, the clues of Chief Bogo and Mister Big. Chief Bogo. And Mr. Big. I won't give you any additional clues right now, guys. We're just going to play the uh, first movie clip. And if you know the answer, call us up at 618-895-3030. We're going to give you this Chris August CD and the two general admission tickets to the Love Worth Fighting for Marriage event. You guys ready for this? Yep. Yep. Here is today's first uh, movie clip from our movie we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Down here? Hi. Hi. Oh, am goodness. They really did hire a bunny. <laughs> what? <laughs> I gotta tell you, you are even cuter than I thought you'd be. Ooh, uh, you probably didn't know, but a bunny can call another bunny cute, but when other animals do it, it's a little... <gasps> I am so sorry. Me, Benjamin Clawhauser. The guy everyone thinks is just a flabby donut-loving cop stereotyping you. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. You've actually, you've actually um, got, there's a, a in your neck, the fold, what? the, mm-hmm, there's. Oh, who you went, you little dickens? Oh. <laughs> I should get to roll call. So, which way do I? Oh, bullpen's over there to the left. Great. Thank you. Oh, that poor little buddy's going to get eaten alive. All right. <laughs> what movie are we talking about? Eight nine five thirty thirty, and you're going to win the CD, the Chris August CD, and the two tickets to the Love Worth Fighting For Marriage event. Who do you think we're talking about there? Call us up, eight nine five thirty thirty. I'll give you an additional clue. Jason Bateman was in this movie. He was the voice of Nicholas Nick Wilde. All right, let me play the other movie clip for you this morning. If you know what, call us up, 618-895-3030. All right, everybody sit. I've got three items on the docket. First, we need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Francine, 
Happy birthday. Number two. There are some new recruits with us I should introduce, but I'm not going to because I don't care. <laughs> Finally, we have 14 missing mammal cases. All predators, from a giant polar bear to a teensy little otter. And City Hall is right up my tail to find them. This is priority number one. All right. Yeah, what well, movie? I still can't think what it is. What movie are we talking about? 618-895-3030 is our phone number. Uh, Jason Bateman was in this movie. Jennifer Goodwin. What do you think is the name of the movie? Those are some pretty good clues for you this morning. Now the phone's ringing off the hook over here, guys. Let's see if we have a winner this morning. And uh, who is this? Good morning, caller. Who's this? This is Vanessa. Hey, Vanessa. How are you this morning? Oh, good. All right. And uh, where's home at? Disney. All right. Yeah. Well, we've got uh, two tickets to the Love Worth Fighting For marriage event, Vanessa, and a Chris August CD. If you can tell me what the name of the movie we're talking about this morning. Is it Zootopia? Zootopia. That is it. Yeah. I didn't see that either. Uh, Kelly hasn't seen the movie nope. yet. So good job. All right, Vanessa. Hey, congratulations. Stay on the line. I'll be back with you and get a little information, all right? All right, we'll have to see that. All now. right, all right. Yeah, Vanessa, she's a winner of that. I was hoping you, I was hoping that you would use a clip that I saw from the preview with the sloth. <laughs> oh, the sloth. Oh, you know, I thought about that one because really it's did. so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I thought about. <laughs> I, I thought about using that one. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Big was the Arctic. Uh, he was the uh, well, Arctic Shrew, who was the most fearsome crime boss in Tundra Town. And is served by a group of polar bears. Chief Bogo was the African buffalo who was the police chief of the Zootopia Police Department. And uh, Jason Bateman was uh, the red fox who was a small-time con artist. Nick Wilde was his name. Bristol so anyway, did see that, but I didn't. I go still want to see it because I hear yeah. it's just yeah. so it's good. good. Yeah, it's so good, and yeah, it is a cute movie. So Vanessa's yeah. a winner. Congratulations! This yeah. That's great. All right, hey, we'll come back in a little bit. Uh, we've got our interview with Jordan Feliz coming up at eight forty-five this morning. Don't forget, just after nine this morning, we're going to be drawing those tickets out. Three winners will receive two tickets to uh, the Casting Crowns concert. Sit in the front row. We're going to do that after nine o'clock. So stay tuned. That and much more on the way. Time for a moment in God's Word with Max Hooper this morning, underwritten by Crawford Plumbing in Woodlawn. Crawford Plumbing LLC in Woodlawn is licensed, bonded, insured, and ready to serve your household and business plumbing needs. From leaky faucets to complete plumbing systems and repair, Crawford Plumbing in Woodlawn is a full-service plumbing company. They can be reached at 618-242-3360. Crawford Plumbing in Woodlawn is a proud underwriting sponsor of Re- Real Life Radio. It's time now for a moment in God's Word with your host, Max Hooper. Hello, everyone. In Matthew, Jesus was asked what was the most important law of Moses. His answer is found in the 22nd chapter and verses 37 through 39. And there he says, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. What Jesus did was to pull together all the laws of Moses into two basic commandments. If you think for only a second, we realize that abiding in these two commandments will, in fact, obey all the laws laid down by Moses. It would seem that all we have is a need to be responsible. And to love the Lord with all we have has to be the foundation we are continually searching for. Truly loving God, our Heavenly Father, we will always strive not to do anything to disgrace Him or to make Him angry. There are many things that are essential in Christian living. But the active focus upon a love of God has to be at the top of our daily activities. Can you give yourself and your life to God? Can you place Him above all else in your life? It is also true that when we love our neighbor, we are again assuming a place of being responsible. Not until we respect our neighbors can we understand the hurt that others feel when we fall off the mountain. 
That means that we, without concern or feelings of others, we do something that sheds bad light upon them or ourselves. Engaging in out-of-control use of drugs or alcohol will do great damage to our relationship with God and our neighbor. God loves us deeply. He is saddened when we stray outside his commandments. No, I'm not, st I'm not stating that quite strong enough. He is a jealous God, and he will use whatever means he can to bring us back to him. Our neighbors are shocked when we, as trusted friends, stray outside the boundaries of Christian ethics. Do we have a feeling of responsibility to our neighbors? God has told us that we should love our neighbors as, as ourselves. Christian relationships must be built on love, and we must maintain that relationship on love. In Romans 13, it has a lot to say about love and your neighbor. Chapter 13 begins with verse 8, and it says, Let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. For he who loves his fellow man has fulfilled the law. The commandments do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be are summed up in this one rule. Love your neighbor as yourself. And then verse 10 closes and says, Love does no harm to its neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we all took actions and all of them were based on love? Well, thanks for being with us. This is Max Hooper. Have a great day. You've been listening to A Moment in God's Word, a daily devotion hosted by Southern Illinois sports legend Max Hooper. Hi, this is Melissa Garrison inviting you to join me for Reflections of Hope, a new daily devotional program Monday through Friday here on The Vine. During Reflections of Hope, we'll apply God's Word to our everyday lives. We all need encouragement and to be strengthened in our faith. So why don't you join me twice daily for Reflections of Hope right here on local Christian radio, 90.9 The Vine. Reflections of Hope with Melissa Garrison at 10.05 a.m. and at 1.05 p.m here on Real Life Radio. Underwriting on the Vine is provided by Embroidery & More in Fairfield. Embroidery & More specializes in custom embroidery, custom heat transfers for your reunion, school, and church groups, as well as baby items, wedding gifts, and Americana decor. Their hours are 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, Saturdays 9 to 1. You can also like them on Facebook. Embroidery & More is located at 107 Southeast 2nd Street in Fairfield, and their phone number is 847-5027. It's January and it's time. Time for what, you ask? Time to grow in your faith and in your relationship with God. No more excuses. This is Melissa at Safe Haven Ministries, 707 East Main in Fairfield. This year, we're starting with the promises that God has just for you. Stop by Tuesday or Thursday at 6 p.m. or if you like morning better, Thursday at 10 a.m. Let's put God first this year and make it a year we'll never forget. The following is a real life story from Trinity Debt Management. I had numerous credit cards and I was struggling with paying them off, so I made the call. If you're in debt and you need help, call Trinity at 1 800 606. 4260. The people at Trinity are very friendly. They will do whatever you need them to do in order for you to feel better about being in a very difficult place. If your debt has you down, call Trinity at 1-800-606-4260. It is time right now for Hey Howard, and it's underwritten this morning by Fairfield Banking Company. Hi, this is Ashley DeVoy with the Fairfield Banking Company. We've been strongly rooted in this area since 1892. Our foundation is strong and we offer a unique checking account for customers 50 and older. It's called the 1892 Founders Club Checking and it puts your money to work with interest paid on balances of $1,000 or more. You've worked hard to build a strong financial foundation for yourself and now it's time to reap the rewards including free checks and paper statements. Learn more about the 1892 Founders Club Checking Account available at the Fairfield Banking Company, 915 Commerce Drive, member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. With a practical look at managing your money, here's financial author Howard Dayton with today's question. Hey Howard, I'm a single mom of a 10-year-old son. 
My son has some little jobs, but since I wasn't taught how to give, save, or budget when I was young, how do I teach him to handle his income wisely? Start by having him use a simple budget. I recommend him using three jars. Label one give, one save, and one spend. Whenever he receives income, the first 10% goes in the give jar, 40% of the income in the save jar, the rest in the spend jar. And encourage him to give to your local church and to people in need. And then open a bank account where he can deposit his savings and earn interest. I'd also recommend that you visit compassone.org and get a copy of The Secret, a financial book for kids 8 to 12 years old. That's compassone.org. Good morning, everyone. Time now to check sports on this Friday morning. Junior high boys basketball action last night. New Hope beat Jeff 57-32. It was Fairfield beating Mount Carmel 50-32 and Sisney over Albin by the score of 53-19. Boys high school basketball. The Carmi White County Invitational Tournament last night. Mount Vernon, Indiana beat Fairfield Mule 60-56. Carmi White County over Harrisburg 63-49. The Midland Trail Conference Tournament. Last night, the ninth place game, Clay City beat Sandoval 58-49. The semifinal between Woodlawn and Christ R. Rock Lutheran. Woodlawn won that game over Christ R. Rock Lutheran 45-28. The semifinal game, Waltonville. They beat Weber 43-41. Now the Constellation Championship will be held Saturday afternoon at 3. Wayne City will take on Grayville. Third place game Saturday at 4.30. It'll be Christ R. Rock Lutheran and Weber. And the championship game Saturday night at 6 p.m. It'll be Woodlawn and Waltonville. The Salem Invitational Tournament. Centralia beat Mattoon 44-21. Effingham over Andrew Osborne Academy out of Ohio 72-43. The Sparta Midwinter Classic. Alton Marquette beat Redbud 58-31. Murfreesboro 62. Waterloo 54. And Steelville beat Trico 64-45. The West Frankfurt Midwinter Classic. Cairo beat Anna Jonesboro 71-68. The Egyptian Midwinter Classic. Jop over Lovejoy 75-63. Johnston City, they beat El Dorado 60-56. The Belleville East Chick-fil-A Classic last night. Alton beat McClure, Missouri 74-59. And St. Mary's, Missouri over Columbia 69-62. The Massac County Superman Classic. Massac County over Fort Campbell, Kentucky 80-59. And Goreville beat Vianna. 70-55. The Nashville Invitational, two topless be modern day, 65-38. And Breeze Central over Mascuda, 54-34. The Oakville Invitational, Westland beat Madison, 61-60. And Waterloo Jabot over to Coyne, 51-48. The boys basketball regular season games last night, a couple of games. Cumberland beat Neoga, 59-44. And Galatia over ziegler Alton 69-59. Girls high school basketball, the El Dorado Lady Eagle Classic. Anna Jonesboro beat Vianna 49-41. Benton over Gallatin County 46-42. And El Dorado beat Mount Carmel 49-44. Carbondale Midwinter Classic. Massac County beat Marion 40-34. Carterville over Mount Vernon 57-40. Carbondale over Mascuda 57-38. Effingham round Robin. Vandalia beat Paris 47-36. Centralia over Effingham 49-48. The Highland Tournament. Hillsboro beat Salem 64-32. Nashville 49. Triad 28. Highland over O'Fallon. 59-44. The Little Illini Conference Tournament. The Consolation went to Flora as they beat Lawrenceville 46-37. Third place, Newton over Alney 43-34 in championship. Won by Marshall over Paris 43-37. National Trail Conference Tournament. North Clay defeated Cowden Herrick Beecher City 48-46. And Altamont over Neoga 68-56. The West Frankfurt Midwinter Classic. Cesar Valier Waltonville beat Pinkneyville 61 26. Heron over West Frankfurt 61 31. Other games, regular season games in girls' high school basketball. Grice Darrock Lutheran over Weber 67 31. Civic Memorial 66. Columbia 35. Lutheran North Missouri 57. Metro East Lutheran 29. Lebanon beat Dupo 66 27. East St. Louis 50. Alton 41. Elvarado over Dongola 61 49. Father McGivney beat Sandoval 62-45, Freeburg 57, Waterloo Jabot 37, Meridian over Century 76-48. High school wrestling last night, Mount Vernon beat Fairfield. Now on the schedule tonight, Carmi White County Invitational Tournament, Mount Vernon and Mount Carmel. Mount Vernon, Indiana and Mount Carmel will play at 6 p.m. and 7.30. Carmi White County and Fairfield playing. 
The Benton Invitational Tournament, Carlisle and Hamilton County at 5.30, Benton and Cesar Valier at 7, and Meridian and Pinckneyville at 8.30. The Nashville Invitational Tournament, Breeze, Modern Day, and Mascuda at 6.30, Nashville and Tutopolis at 8 o'clock. The Sparta Midwinter Classic, Murphy's Burl and Trico at 5.30, Freeburg and Redbud at 7, and Sparta and Alton Marquette at 8.30. The Egyptian Midwinter Tournament, Johnston City will play Century at 6, and Joppa will play Egyptian at 7.30. The Massac County Superman Classic, Championship semifinal, Carbondale will take on Paducah Tillman at 6.15, Graves County, Kentucky, and Charleston, Missouri at 7.45. Now the Constellation Championship is set for Saturday at 4.30. That will be Massac County and Goreville. Seventh place game Saturday at 3 for Campbell, Kentucky, and Vienna. Oakville Invitational Tournament, Waterloo Jabot will take on Westland tonight at 6. And Madison will take on Oakville at 7.30. The West Frankfurt Midwinter Classic, Carterville and Christopher play. At 5.30, West Frankfurt and El Dorado at 7, Heron and Marion at 8.30. And the Little Illini Conference Tournament, Paris will be playing Flora tonight at 7. Regular season game tonight, Edwards County and North Clay will play basketball and uh, boys high school basketball tonight. High school girls basketball, Wayne City will be at Christ Star Rock Lutheran. Junior high boys basketball, the 38th annual Sisney Middle School 7th grade tournament will be played. And at 4 o'clock this afternoon, Jasper will take on NCOE. At 5.15, Wayne City will take on New Hope. At 6.30, Jeff and Clay City will play in a 7.45, Sisney and Iuka. Some baseball news for you this morning. The Baltimore Orioles and slugger Mark Trumbo have agreed to a three-year deal worth $37.5 million. Trumbo led the big leagues with 47 home runs in 2016, helping the Orioles reach the postseason for the third time in five years. It was the first career playoff appearance for Trumbo, who was named an All-Star for the second time. And that is a check of sports for you on this Friday morning. I'm Mark Wells reporting. Save the date. You and your love are invited to an evening that will make you laugh, love, and look forward to the future. Learn from the words and wisdom of TV and movie star Kirk Cameron. The most important thing is to have the heart of your spouse or everything falls apart. With musical stylings and comedy by Warren Barfield. My wife is a clean freak. My house is spotless right now. There are vacuum marks on my carpet. She is passionate about those vacuum marks. And we were hanging out and we were eating some pretzels. And I was lifting a pretzel toward my mouth and I fumbled it. And it landed on our floor and destroyed our home. If you're in a relationship, this night is for you. It's called Love Worth Fighting For, a marriage event designed to encourage your relationship. Join us at the Love Worth Fighting For marriage event featuring Kirk Cameron and Warren Barfield Sunday, February 5th at 4 p.m. at Wayne City High School Gymnasium in Wayne City. Tickets available at Wayne City Baptist Church. Open a future Christian bookstore in Fairfield or look for the Love Worth Fighting For marriage event banner on our website and order tickets today at wvyn.org. Time right now to check the area weather forecast and this morning it's underwritten by Home Source Warehouse and they're located in Mount Vernon. Monthly financial support of local Christian radio is provided by Home Source Warehouse in Mount Vernon. Located four miles north of Mount Vernon on Route 37, Home Source Warehouse offers a warehouse full of quality furniture and mattresses with legendary service. Open Thursday and Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 3. You can find them on Facebook, and their website is homesourcewarehouse.net. Their phone number is 204-5515. Home Source Warehouse, where style is affordable. Well, cloudy skies today throughout southern Illinois, and we'll have a high of 55, partly cloudy tomorrow, high 65, and a stray shower thunderstorm as possible. Chance of rain on church Sunday, high 59, and then Monday, as we begin a brand new work week, partly cloudy skies, high 45 right now in the area. Carmi 52, Salem 50, Benton 52, Mount Vernon 50, Fairfield 51 in Wayne City, it's 52. Here's Big Daddy Wee, the Lion and the Lamb, coming up next right here at the Vine.
chain will break His broken hearts declare His praise But who can stop the Lord Almighty?
music and ministry that helps you connect with God. It is local Christian radio, 105.5 and 90.9. The Vine, that's from the group Watermark. Take me there. It is 8.50. Vine morning show on a fun day Friday. I'm Mark. Kelly and Jimmy joining me in the studio. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, you know, the uh, Beloved Tour is coming to the Benton Civic Center tomorrow night. It features Jordan Feliz, Dan Brimness, and Grayson Reed. And we have... Jordan Feliz on the phone with us right now, and he's in Cordova, Tennessee. Jordan, good morning, and thanks for taking time to join us here on the Vine Morning Show. How are you this morning? Good morning. How are you guys? All right. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, we're doing awesome. Hey, uh, the Beloved Tour. You're on that right now with Dan Bremnis and Grayson Reed, and uh, you're in Cordova, Tennessee tonight. Jordan, and we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at the Benton Civic Center at 7 o'clock. And uh, let's talk about your career right now. Uh, let me ask you the first question. You uh, started off as a heavy metal singer. Nice. And, yeah, and then you yeah. switched gears, and now you're a church <laughs> worship leader. How was that when that all took place, and how long ago was that, Jordan? Yeah, you know, I, was, um, I joined the band when I was a senior in high school. And, um, man, I, I, it's funny because really my heart for what we're doing really hasn't changed that much. Because really, even that band, we, we really wanted to just kind of take the name of Jesus into a venue and into a genre that didn't really have a whole lot of Jesus, you know. Um, and so now, you know, it's, my mindset is kind of right around the same thing. It's just really just taking taking Jesus advancing the kingdom wherever we go, you know? Um, and uh, and about five years ago, that's when that kind of stopped. And then I started kind of pursuing uh, my solo career. And here I am now talking to you guys. Amen. <laughs> yeah, amen. Yeah, you started off. Out, now, California, that's where you were born and raised, out in California, right? Yes. Yeah, I was born and raised in California. Yeah, now you live in Nashville. You started out with the West Coast Buzz Band back then called A Current Affair. And that was right out of high school, right? Yeah, yep, right when I turned 17. Yeah, and, and you, you've got something uh, kind of in common with uh, artists like Sam Cooke and Earth, Wind & Fire. You kind of grew up with R&B artists, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I basically was raised on Earth, Wind, Fire, Al Green, Sam Cooke, uh, nice. Red Zone. I mean, just a bunch of uh, what my what my dad considers the good music era. Um, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, so what made you decide to do heavy metal music? Uh, well, you know, the metal music thing kind of <laughs> was never really my thing. Um, it was more about the ministry behind what we were doing was really like where my heart was, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so it was really exciting to just kind of be uh, be in a room of strangers and people that came to kind of just like not know or not hear about Jesus at all. And then to, the, to have people leave the show, you know, um, and, and have conversations with people about after the show, like, you know, having literally never heard of Christianity, you know what I mean? Like there are literally people in America that still have <laughs> hadn't heard of Christianity or of Jesus, and um, really of the story of Jesus. And so um, that was the exciting part for me. That's awesome that you just step out of your comfort zone musically and do that. That's I mean that's a great testimony yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, thank it you. Is. Yeah, you know, uh, Jordan, when you moved from uh, California to Nashville, that, well, that was a big step for you. And, of course, when you go there, you, you're, you're, your plans were kind of up in air. But you participated in an unsigned artist retreat uh, hosted by Centricity Music, which is now the, the, the label you're under. How was that going into Nashville and participating in that, not knowing where your career was going to go? Yeah, you know, um, when I got invited to that, I, I was kind of – Shocked a, little, shocked a little bit, but um, it kind of all happened through a very weird, strange turn of events through meeting somebody who was in Christian music literally on the street outside of a coffee place mm -hmm. in, in Nashville. And um, man, you know, uh, it was an amazing experience. You know, it was really fun getting to know everybody at Centricity. And um, after that whole season, I really just I fell in love with everybody there, you know? Um, I just felt like they, they felt like family, and that's kind of what I've always dreamed of, is, is having people that feel like family and that we can grow and 
um, that they have a mindset that's really about music and about and about what God is doing through music. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was just a really fun thing for me to run into after you know, doing this for so long. Yeah. You know, your career took off really quick, Jordan, uh, and your first single, The River, came out, and it took ri- the radio by storm. I'm telling you, you rose <laughs> up the charts with that really yes. quick. What was the uh, inspiration in in, uh, in writing this song and, and performing it? There's a little story that goes behind that, right? Yeah. Um, well, I don't know if you guys all have... Uh, like the YouVersion Bible app on your phone. Yep. But um, mm-hmm. basically, it's kind of in my daily routine to open that up, like right when I wake up. And I just read the verse of the day, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And um, it's just something like really uh, just a quick little thing to kind of pick me up as I start my day. And um, so anyways, a couple years ago, I, I was reading through and um, the verse is John seven thirty eight. And the verse says, whoever believes in me will have rivers of living water flow from within them. And um, for me, um, that kind of just jumped out at me. Um, I I just really felt like, wow, this this, this is amazing that, you know, because of the cross, because of what Jesus accomplished there, we have this amazing opportunity. We have this, like, accessibility to the Holy Spirit on a daily basis. Um, which is those rivers of living water that flow from within us. That's the Holy Spirit just coursing through our bodies. Um, and so I, I brought that to both my producers, and, you know, I just really wanted the song to, to, to be a song that was like a lift, like a lift, something that would make you feel like you're just lifted up when you hear it, you know, something that made you feel like the power and the joy of the Lord in it. Oh, that's great. That's cool. I got. I got it real quick. I got a really neat story about your song, "The River." Uh, my wife and I went on a mission trip last March to Brazil on the Amazon River, and we we our, our radio station has a uh, a mobile app that you can listen to our station from anywhere in the world on your on your smartphone. And I had downloaded the app before I left to, before we left to go to the Amazon, and we're on the river. There's a picture of me listening to the Vine app, and it says the river Jordan flees, yeah. and the Amazon mm, River's yeah. in the background. It was really cool. Oh, that is so cool. Isn't that neat? <laughs> I'll uh, I'll tell you what. Tomorrow night when we're at the show, I'll try to remember to uh, show that to you if we get a chance to hook up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, please do. That would be so awesome, dude. I would love that. <laughs> That's you, you great. Know, Right after the river, Jordan, best to me, and then and then you have a new one called. Uh, it's the album's title track called "Beloved," and this is a very catchy, uh, soulful song, I think. It, but it it's more personal for you because it has something to do with uh, the birth of your child, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so a couple months before uh, my wife had our little girl Jolie, um, I, I was I was I was in a room with two other dads. Um, that we're both dads of little girls. And, um, you know, we just started talking about, like, what the world was going to tell our girls as they grow up into women. And, um, man, y'all, <laughs> I, it still kind of takes me back a little bit because the conversation was so, um, it, it just, man, it just crushed my heart because I just realized what kind of a world my daughter was going to be walking into, you know, and what the world was going to tell our girls was, just lies stuff like she's not going to be pretty enough and she's not going to be skinny enough you know just ultimately that she's like she's not going to be enough and and i sat there and i just said no man like we have to change this like we have to do something and the do something in that moment was to just write a song that would be an anthem over our girls lives and not just our girls but over everybody on the face of this planet's life that that Every single one of us, we're loved and we're cherished by the creator of the universe and that that is truly where our worth is found, is in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Jordan, what's it like with uh, working with Dan Bremness? And, of course, a lot of people know uh, Mike Grayson and his wife Molly, uh, Grayson Reed. What's it like working with them on this tour? Man, it's been so awesome. I love, man, I just, I love them. Mike and Grace, uh, Mike and, um, Molly are, are label mates with me on Centricity, and Dan and I have known each other for a couple years now, and our, our wives and kids have gotten together. We get, get, we get dinner pretty often, and, um, 
you know, it's just been awesome to be teamed up with people that want to see a change in the night, that want to see the Lord. You know, yeah. this, this for it, it's nice to be on a tour where, like, legit, like, this is about the advancement of the kingdom. This isn't about anything to do with us. Amen. Um, yeah. And, and you know, that's why we stand up on that stage is not to elevate ourselves, but to elevate him. Amen. Yeah, well, yeah that's awesome. I like that. And, and something else real quick here, and then we're going to let you go. But, but I saw here it's been probably a few months back uh, on social media. I keep up with you quite often. And, of course, uh, you know Greg Franklin from Jackson, Missouri. I know Greg. <laughs> and we're going we're gonna to see him over there oh, tomorrow. And, uh, and it'll be kind of nice to – you're going to see him. But, but – we were talking about this one time, but you were you had been traveling in a van and pulling a trailer, but now you're moved up into a bus. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> how, you, how is that? Jesus. Man, it uh, guys, I've literally been in a van and trailer since I was seventeen, touring almost full time, <laughs> and so uh, it's just been like a, a total game changer. Sure. <laughs> like sure. just being able to like you know, sleep for once. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was a big one. You know, it was like the first night that we had on the bus, all my guys, we all woke up and, and I literally watched my road manager who has been crushing it with us since the very beginning and he, he just got up and goes, I don't think I've ever gotten that much sleep like and walked off somewhere to go to a show that's rested ever in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Yeah, how great is it? <laughs> It was just so amazing yeah. to be able to feel like, man, we're uh, we're rested and yeah. we're, we we get, we have even more energy for the day. And, sure, and that feels amazing. And, and the thing is, too, Jordan, you're you're able when she's able to travel with you, your wife and your young daughter now too, and that that has to be a plus when you're on the road. Oh, man, yes, that is like a huge, a huge, huge game changer as well. My wife actually, um, she just. Uh, put a job so that she could come out on the road with us more um, so that I could just be with my family more because it's really kind of been a huge year this past year you know everything just went crazy um and so I I was away from my house for over 200 days this year and um you know the first year of my little girl's life and um just knowing that we could you know we could make that sacrifice of like, you know, my wife not working, but it was going to be so much more worth it to our family life. And, and, you know, letting my wife and my little girl really sink into the ministry on the road. Amen. So. Amen. Awesome. All right. Well, Jordan, we're going to let you go as uh, the beloved tour will be in Benton Civic Center tomorrow night, seven o'clock with Dan Bremness, Grayson Reed and Jordan Feliz. And it'll be awesome to meet with you tomorrow, Jordan. And uh, tickets will be available at the door. They're available on the Benton Civic Center website. BentonCivicCenter.com. Come out and see Jordan tomorrow night, right? Yes, yes. Please come out. We would love to see you all. All right, Jordan. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Good luck tonight and have a safe trip to Illinois. All Thanks, right. Thanks, Jordan. Yeah, Thanks, thank Jordan. Have a great day, okay? You too, right. buddy. Bye bye. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. All right. We'll bye-bye. see you. Bye bye. Jordan Feliz, yeah. How awesome was that? He now like he's a great guy. Now he's on the road and traveling with his family. And uh, oh, that's and, so good. Uh, I think it's awesome? cool that he did heavy metal music. Yeah, he I know, did. I did too. And he I didn't want to, but he stepped Earth out of his inspired. comfort zone yeah. for yep. the ministry. He what did. an awesome testimony yeah, that, that is. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. It's after nine o'clock. We're going to play the ID, a song, and then we're going to come back and we're going to have our drawing. All right. So all, all of those three of you, of them. Yeah, yeah, three of them. You can listen in. You can watch us. We'll do our drawing live or video streaming right now and go to our website wbyn.org and we're going to do that when we come back guys absolutely in just a moment it's the vine morning show on a fun day friday the drawing coming up mark kelly and jimmy it's continuing right here at real life radio this is your home for best christian music wbyn blueford wayne city fairfield mount vernon and now on translator w288co centralia broadcasting at 105.5 a service of real life radio foundation
music and ministry that is always uplifting and encouraging. It's local Christian radio, 105.5 and 90.9 The Vine. We are, that is Carrie Job. It is 908. Welcome back. The Vine Morning Show on this Sunday, Friday. I'm Mark and Kelly and Jimmy. If you're listening in on 105.5, 90.9 The Vine. And you may be watching our live video stream this morning on our website, right there on the front page of our website, wdyn.org. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. And uh, thanks for tuning in this <laughs> I'm morning. I'm mixing them up. He is. Jimmy is good picture. turning the tumbler this morning as uh, we are preparing to draw out three winners who will each receive two tickets to sit in the very front row oh. of the <laughs> SIU Arena in Carbondale on Good Friday, April 14th, 7 o'clock for the Casting Crown's very next thing tour. With the crowns, Danny Goki and the group Unspoken. What an awesome... I'll tell you what. I can't wait. If you've never sit in the front row of a major concert event such as this, you're going to you're you're gonna be blown away. It's amazing. I did with Luke, Lincoln Brewster. That's the only mm-hmm. first time I've ever been in front row. And oh my goodness mm-hmm. gracious. And the, and the <laughs> thing about it is, here we gotta re, we got to remind everyone, you're sitting in the front row, you're going to have a runway running all the way from the yeah. stage down to the center floor. Right, down at least 15 <coughs> rows. 15 rows, right Something in the you'll middle never forget. Of the VIP section. Yep. So, yeah, we're getting ready to draw out three winners. So, uh, what an exciting time this is, guys. I yes. I can't Woo. wait. And uh, we're doing it live <laughs> yes. on the air and live video streaming right now. So, uh, you know, I was thinking about going Facebook Live right now. <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh, shit. <laughs> so, Let's do that. we'll get one out and come back over <laughs> and mm-hmm. announce who it is. That's right. That's right. We'll announce who it is and where they're from. Okay. All right. And then, uh, of course, the ladies are going to go first. We're each going to draw. Okay. Kelly's going to draw, and then Jimmy will draw, and then I'll draw out the final one. You can put the blame on me if I didn't put all your names. But yeah. There are so many names in there, guys. There's there is. Carbondale. There's Marion. There's Flora. There's Louisville, McLeansboro, Carmi, Albin, Wayne City, Fairfield, uh, Culp, DeSoto, um, all down to West Frankfort. Any extreme out. southern Illinois, extreme like southern Vienna Illinois. or Metropolis? There's some in that area. Wow. <clears throat> Good. Because yeah, I we, got friends gosh. in Metropolis. Yeah, we appreciate, really all the, they yeah, won, so. we appreciate all the entries. We really do. And uh, your chance. And if you win, we'll be in touch with you, okay? Yes. Give us maybe a day or so. But we will be in touch with you. We have all your contact information, all right? So Jimmy is mixing them up. If you're watching our live video stream this morning, you can see he's turning the tumbler. And uh, I'm doing a really good Vanna White in person. Oh, you <laughs> are. You're doing so good. <laughs> you got to do the pose, though. You know. So there you there go. There you the go. <laughs> and yeah, all, all the entries are in here. Now, okay. So <clears throat> if you entered, there it's in here. We've we've had quite a few in there, guys. And again, we thank all those that are in there. All right, yep. we're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So all right. I'm going to take off my headphones. And go <clears throat> yep. get one. Yeah. So that way, uh, go pull one out, <clears throat> and we'll announce it on the air. And can you, uh, yeah, can you do that signing, clip? Yeah, you got it. That clip's kind of hard to get out of there. It keeps them in there. You don't tight. break your nail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just okay. if you have to, just reach right in, mix them up, and leave them further if you want to. Here, you give that to me, and I'll do that, and you can read who it is. Mm-hmm. So we have our first one coming out of the uh, tumbler this morning. Oh gosh! And so this is I exciting. Know I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> If you know him, it could be rigged. No, not, no, no. There's no way. This is a, this is a, this is a good deal here. Do you know where to look well, for it at? No. Let me. Not really. We'll show you where to look for it. Oh, at. right here it is. Miranda Cross from uh, Mar- McLeansboro. Miranda Cross from McLeansboro. Yes. Congratulations, all right. Miranda. Miranda. All right, Miranda you're the first. Cross. You're the first winner this morning. So you're going to get two tickets, Miranda. To sit in the front row of the Casting Crowns concert on Good Friday. Oh, I'm so happy for you. How exciting is that? Yay, Miranda Miranda. Cross. All right, now Jimmy's turn to draw. Is he still mixing? You need me to hold that, Jimmy? You want me to hold that for you? I think I got it. It does have a tendency to slide around when we turn the the tumbler here. Yeah, she's got all of her info on here for me. That's good. All right, Miranda. Thank thank you and Jimmy. Jimmy's got. (coughs) Jimmy's got. Let's see who he's got. I know, it's so exciting. Drum roll. (laughs) Drum roll. You'd be good at that, though. (laughs) Hey, don't look at my paper. Yeah, you can't (laughs) cheat. All right. From the good town of Cesar, Illinois. Oh, boy. Dylan Rock. Dylan Ooh. Rock is our next winner. Congratulations right. to Dylan Rock from Cesar. All right, Dylan, thanks, and uh, congratulations. You get two tickets to sit in the front row of the Casting Crowns concert. 
Oh, All right, we got Sesser, we got McLean Pearl, right, and Mark. All right, now it's Who my are turn. are you going to choose? Well, we're going to find out here in a moment. Go ahead and turn it, Jimmy, if you want to do a little more. Just crank that baby up. we got more to come here. There you go. That way, this is our final one, right? Yeah. That's right. What a what a nice selection that's in there. Oh, yeah, Man, there's lots. There are a bunch of them. All right, I'm going to reach my hand in here. I'm going to next back here. He doesn't trust the, uh, <laughs> the the wheel turner here. I know. <laughs> no, I, it's not that I don't trust the wheel turner. All right. Okay. Here, I'll give you this. Okay. Absolutely. Hurry up, Mark. Get over here. All right. This is our third winner, okay. guys. Yes. You, I haven't looked yet, all right? And again, we thank all of the everyone that entered. All right, we yes, we appreciate we all of our entries. Now, we have two winners already, and this is the third one. This third, this third winner here that I've got in my hand will receive two tickets. Sit in the front row of the Casting Crowns concert. You ready for this? Yep. All right. The name is. Should I read it right now? <laughs> do you know who it is? Do you know him? I do well, not know this person. You know, maybe okay. we should do a break real quick. No. <laughs> no. Dude, and like the winner fun. is right after these messages. Yeah, we'll be back after these commercial messages. In Come two on. and two. No. All right. The name is, it's a female. Okay. Tammy Hertenstein from Xenia, Illinois. Oh, I know who that is. You know who that yes. is. Right? Tammy Hertenstein. Oh, she yeah. is going to be thrilled. Yeah, Tammy, you just won two tickets to sit in the front row of the Cast and Crowns Woo-hoo. concert on Good Friday. Oh, all right. Along husband. with Dylan Rock from Sesser and mm-hmm. Miranda Cross from McLeansboro. Yeah. Yep. All right. So Xenia, uh, again, McLeansboro, yeah. and Sesser. And, and again, thank you to everyone who submitted your name, and your name was placed in uh, this Tumblr. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate, as you can see, if you're watching our live video stream, you can see all the entries that are still in there. All That's right? a really good camera shot, you a- angle yeah. that you set yeah, up. I, I, you yeah, know, it, it is. It's like, okay, that looks good right there. So, yeah. So, there's still, there's quite a, a lot of entries in there, guys. And again, three lucky winners. Yes. Again, who would, who'd you have, Jimmy? I had Dylan Rock from Sesser. And mm-hmm. I had Miranda Cross. And Miranda's from where? McLeansboro. McLeansboro. And I have Tammy Hertenstein from Xenia. Yes. All right. All three winners. Congratulations to all. Each yes. will receive two tickets, and we'll be in touch with you, all right, mm-hmm. on your tickets. So give us a little bit of time. It may not be today, but we'll get them to you just as soon as, and we'll get, get to you just as soon as we can, all yep. right? So there you go. Congratulations to all the three winners. And, again, we thank all those that entered in our drawing. Yeah. How awesome was that? A it lot of was. fun. It was. That was great. All right. All right, guys. We're going to come back a little bit. We'll have our uh, Friday riddle. We have a couple more things to give away. And uh, things your handwriting reveals about your personality. <laughs> we'll look at that coming up here in just a little bit. All right? So more to come here on the Vine Morning Show on this fun day Friday. It's Mark, Kelly, and Jimmy. More to come. Stay tuned. Time now for Uncommon Moments with Tony Dungy and his wife, Lauren Dungy, this morning underwritten by Fairfield National Bank. As a financial advisor, John Reynolds is well-versed in the best practices of financial planning. But as a local, raised in Wayne County, he's more than experienced with the unique challenges you face every day. After growing up here, he's now returned, investing back into the community that contributed to his success, passionate and committed to helping you with yours. FNB Asset Management. We're here to help. This is Uncommon Moments. Here's former Super Bowl winning NFL coach Tony Dungy and his wife Lauren sharing from their book Uncommon Marriage. A number of years ago, Lauren and I began discussing the possibility of adding to our family by adopting. She told me she felt the Lord was speaking to her saying, you have the resources, you have the home and the loving family. Yet she was careful to tell me she wanted to be sure she wasn't being driven by her own desire, but by the Lord's leading. We agreed to pray about it to make sure the Lord was speaking to both of us. In your marriage, when you come upon an important decision you feel the Lord is calling you to, go to Him in prayer and wait for His answer. He'll show you like He showed Tony and me. Tony and Lauren Dungy, authors of Uncommon Marriage, learning about lasting love and overcoming life's obstacles together. Discover more at CoachDungy.com. More music and ministry for Fairfield, Benton, and Mount Vernon.
Ministry that is always uplifting and encouraging. It's local Christian radio, 105.5 and 90.9 divine. Best to me, speaking of Jordan Feliz, we just had an interview with him. That was Jordan Feliz and his song, Best to Me, here on the Vine. Yeah, what a concert that's going to be tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow night, Benton Civic Center, 7 o'clock. Tickets are still available. Go to BentonCivicCenter.com or tickets will be available at the door. And I told you guys I'd have the ticket prices. I had someone text me, wanted to know what the prices were. Tickets, VIP reserved, $18. Premium reserve, $15. Tickets will be available at the door. All right. and uh, Or you can go to BentonCivicCenter.com and get your tickets. Well, that's really reasonable, mm-hmm. too. Yep. Very reasonable. It'll be uh, Jordan Feliz, uh, Dan Brimness, and Grayson Reed all together tomorrow night at the Benton Civic Center again, 7 o'clock. And the Beloved Tour. That interview with Jordan, of course, everything will be uploaded on our website on our YouTube channel coming up in a little bit, as along with the uh, winners of our drawing, guys, that we just had just yes. a few minutes ago. How exciting was that? As we drew out three names that will each receive two front row tickets to the Casting Crown's very next theme tour coming up on Good Friday, April 14th at 7 o'clock. Casting Crown's Danny Goki and uh, the group Unspoken. It's going to be an awesome night. What a way to kick off Easter Sunday I weekend, I know. Guys. Isn't that great? Yeah. And I'm these, looking so yeah. forward to that. And these winners, we'll get in touch with you and let you know that you did win the tickets, all right? Uh, Dylan Rock from Sasser wins two tickets. Mm-hmm. Miranda Cross from McLeansboro, she wins two tickets. And again, uh, Tammy Hertenstein from Xenia, a winner as well. Each wow. will receive two front row 
tickets. How awesome is that, guys? That's, a, that's, that's awesome a with a winner. capital A. Capital yes, A is. awesome. <laughs> capital A awesome. All right. And we appreciate, again, you know, we can't stress it enough. We appreciate all the uh, entries. Oh, there's a lot of had. entries in oh, there. Yeah, there was a lot of. Uh, I was. I. I cut and folded a lot of paper. <laughs> let me. Let me tell you. <laughs> when and I opened that, I was expecting. you weren't just, pasting. No, I wasn't <laughs> pasting. Not copying. I was copy. expecting a big name to be across there. That's mm-hmm. why it took me. Yeah. I was like, yeah. what's all like, on there? I was like, did you have your glasses on? Yeah, yeah. I, I did, but I wasn't expecting all that yeah, on yeah. there. Well, you know, and, and the information we ask and it, there, it said required is it, it's just for our knowledge. Yeah. And so that way we can get in touch with you. It's very important because we have your name, your email address, your mailing address. And so all, all that's required. It's very yeah. important. And again, we appreciate all the entries that we have. And congratulations to our winners. Are you in for a treat? Oh, yes, yes you are. Good Friday. I'm telling you, if you've never attended a concert, the SIU Arena in Carbondale, sitting on the floor, man, are you in for a treat. Mm-hmm. And you can still order tickets. Go to our website, wbyn.org. Click on the poster of Casting Crowns right there, and you can still purchase tickets. Those tickets are still available and on sale. And get your tickets, and don't miss this awesome concert, all right? Yep. All right, guys, uh, you know, I think it's time that we give away a few more things. Do you want to give away something uh, else again? I think again? we need to. Uh, Jimmy, what do we have over there that we're going to give away this go-around? We have a $10 gift certificate <clears throat> Excuse me, to Ray's Doghouse in Fairfield. All right. For food or pretty much anything they have there at Ray's Doghouse. If you just want to use it to uh, purchase a soft drink, that's what you can use yeah, it for. Exactly. But as long as it's at Ray's Doghouse, that's there's right. $10 there. Mm-hmm. And we have the Newsboys Love Riot CD. Ooh, Ooh, Love Riot. Yeah, that's, that's good. A, that's a great CD, that so, Love Riot CD. So, yes, yeah. it is. Ray's Doghouse, you're, if you've never eaten at Ray's before, you walk up, you'll smell the food, you'll want to eat there. At oh, Ray's yeah. Doghouse. Home of the Frankensteiner. Great sandwiches. Mm -hmm, Exactly. You can either walk up and order or you can drive through. You just drive right under. uh, Ray's got a, uh, like a, like a, like a canopy there. You just drive under it and they'll wait on you. Like a carport like thing. Mm -hmm, Yeah. Like a carport. Uh, We appreciate Ray and, uh, and his support of the vine. He loves the vine. And uh, yeah, $10. Great, great food there at Ray's and that. Jimmy told you that Love Riot CD from the Newsboys. At 895-3030, 895-3030 is our phone number if you'd like to play along with us this morning. And last week, Kelly, we Jimmy wasn't here. We had kind of had a hard hard riddle. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, I missed uh, it. I wasn't able to hear last the riddle. Friday. And I can't remember what it was. I kind of forget from one week to the next, you know. I know. I have to think about it. You have to think about that. But if you'd like to play along with us this morning and win these cool prizes, 618-895-3030. It's a simple ru- uh, riddle this morning. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yep. What did the thief get for stealing the calendar? What did the thief get for stealing the calendar? 618-895-3030. No? No. Good, good guess, though. What did the thief get for stealing the calendar? 618-895-3030 is our phone number this morning if you'd like to play along. What did the thief get for stealing the calendar? Hmm. 618-895-3030. Now... The easy one seemed to be the hard one. I the, know. It, it is because you got to think a little bit. you got to kind of put, uh, okay, a thief in pos- Okay, okay, we're talking about a thief here. What do you get for stealing the calendar? 618-895-3030. Someone knows the answer. Good morning, caller. Who's this? Lynn Johnson. Uh, Lynn, is that right? Yes, Linda. Hi, Linda. Linda. How are you this morning? I'm doing good. <laughs> Where, where's home at, Linda? Where, where do you live at, Linda? Fairfield. All right. Fairfield. Well, hey, Linda, we've got uh, uh, Ray's Dog House gift certificate and uh, a Love Riot CD from the Newsboys here. But before you give me your answer, i got to tell you what Jimmy and Kelly said. <laughs> okay. Uh, the question was, what did the thief get for stealing the calendar? Uh, I said time, time, as in jail oh, time. Oh, okay. that's good. And Kelly, what would you say? Arrested, Arrested. exclamation mark. But those I aren't, knew that wasn't right. But those are not the right li- the right answers, Linda. What do you think the answer I like your is? Answer. I think it's twelve months. Twelve, 12 months. months. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. and see yeah. what I wrote down right here. Yeah. 
11 29, 11 29 which is yeah. pretty much almost 12 months yeah yeah, yeah. that's good great yeah. job yeah. i wouldn't even <laughs> never thought of that yeah what did the thief get for stealing the calendar 12 well, months 12, 12 months. months yeah that's all right cool. I well, like that. that's that's a harsh penalty just for stealing a calendar i know <laughs> well he gets a year so there you go all right book him hey linda congratulations you just won stay on the line with me i'll come back and get a little information from you okay all right. All right. That's Linda from Fairfield, a winner. Congratulations. Yeah. 12, yeah. Mu- 12, <laughs> 12 months. Yeah, and you, yeah, when I asked that, you had that, okay, it's another puzzling look on Kelly's I face know. this morning. I was like, so. But that's that's her normal look. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> her, her well, yeah, look. it is, really. I All liked right. yours, though, yeah. time. Uh, you guys were that in that was general. Really good. You guys were getting close to the no, answer. No, mine was awful. Yeah, you were lukewarm, I would say. Lukewarm. Not hot. But you were lukewarm, so hot would have been really close to it. So anyway, hmm. so congratulations to Linda this morning. Hey, coming back, Jimmy, you got a corny joke submitted by a listener. Submitted today, right? by a listener, that's right. All right, and it's and it's it's a, it's a cute corny. Right. Oh, so so we'll get to that. We'll here in explain a little bit. the back. I'll, I'll explain the backstory. Yeah. So yeah, we'll get to that here in a little bit, and also things your handwriting reveals about your personality, guys. When oh. we come back, all right. We're going to do all that here in just a little bit, right here on the Vine Morning Show. More to come. Time now for Voice of the Martyrs, underwritten this morning. Voice of the Martyrs next, underwritten by the Tin Shed, and they're located in Wayne City. 105.5 and 90.9 The Vine is thankful for the underwriting support of the Tin Shed in Wayne City. They are your source for primitive, country, and home decor in a wide selection to meet your decorating needs. The Tin Shed is located at 701 West Robinson in Wayne City, and their phone number is 895-2155. Hi, I'm Todd Nettleton, and this is the Voice of the Martyrs Radio. You've probably heard the saying, spare the rod and spoil the child. Well, an Iranian man named Ebi was using the rod to try to spoil his daughter and convince her to return to Islam. Shanaz had placed her trust in Jesus. Her father tolerated it until she shamed him by rejecting a Muslim suitor. Then Ebi started beating her. But soon after, Jesus appeared to him saying, stop beating her, she belongs to me. Ebi screamed, please forgive me. Now I know who I'm fighting against. He too now follows Jesus. Pray with us that Jesus will reveal himself to more Muslims like Ebi. I will not let my brothers and sisters suffer in silence, nor will I let them serve alone. To join me in prayer for persecuted Christians, go to vomradio.net. More music and ministry for Flora, McLeansboro, and Benton. The downside of being up is my inside is empty of the one thing my heart truly needs. When I feel invincible, a million miles from miserable, it's always all about me. I don't know why I don't love you like I should, like you would, through bad In my weakness, I'll never go back again And then your sunshine ends the rain And I return to my old ways Why am I a fair weather friend? I wanna be the one to love you like I should Like you would Through the bad and good
Chris August from your life radio, 105.5, 90.9, the vine, the upside of down. It is time right now for Hope Out Loud with a member of the Barrick family, underwritten by Monroe Accounting. They're located in McLeansboro. Real Life Radio Foundation is blessed by the generosity of Monroe Accounting in McLeansboro. They specialize in a full line of accounting services for businesses, individuals, and farms, including tax preparation, payroll preparation, quarterly sales taxes, and more. Their office is located at 102 East Market Street in downtown McLeansboro with experience and knowledge to serve your needs. Their phone number is 643-3993. Monroe Accounting in McLeansboro, a proud supporter of 90.9 and 105.5 The Vine. Andy Barrick with today's Hope Out Loud. Martin Luther King Jr. is remembered for helping bring an end to segregation in America. But sometimes we forget that everything he did for social justice was inspired by his passion for God. And that's why his movement was so powerful. Rather than hating his enemies, calling them names, or inciting violence, he chose to overcome them with love. He once said, hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. His words echo Matthew 5:44 when Jesus tells us to love our enemies and to pray for those who persecute us. Dear God, in a world full of hatred and fear, help us to be different. Help us to love our enemies as you love them. Amen. For more hope and encouragement, go to HopeOutloud.com. The music is incredible. And to it. On 105.5 and 90.9, The Vine. Feeling that, feeling that breeze Singing like a song through the tall oak trees mm. Mm. It was just another summer night Had to be the last thing on my mind mm. Mm. Yeah, I was all but lost in the moment I was young and running wide open mm. It was just another summer night to be the last thing on my mind mm-hmm. When love broke through You found me in the darkness Wandering through the desert I was a hopeless fool Now I'm hopelessly devoted My chains are broken And it all began with you When love broke through I did you love me enough to pursue me
Playing live changing music 24 hours a day. It is local Christian radio, 105.5 and 90.9 Divine. Toby Mac, Love Broke Through. I like singing with that song. That's that a, a fun song? song. Good toe tapper. So it why is. weren't you singing? I was in my head. I ain't sing- I'm not <laughs> singing around <laughs> you. Never heard her. Never heard her I always thought either, you Jim. had voices in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you funny? That's what you heard. I only I only head. cut loose at home when I'm alone. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Dennis ever so heard you, you sing? You think you're alone? Yeah. Holy Spirit's with you. <laughs> He's getting yeah. me in every way. Um, <laughs> no, just in church, you know, oh, when everybody's okay. singing, sure, but not sure. totally alone. That's when he goes outside to work in the garage. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <It's> not- <laughs> Thanks for tuning in this morning, the Vine Morning Show on a fun day Friday. I'm Mark, Kelly, and Jimmy, and it's great to have you along. We're going to be wrapping it up here in a few moments, guys, and everything, and had a fun morning. We had a busy morning. Today. We've had a busy morning, and I can't believe we're going to, what, we have one more yeah. Friday in um, January, in and then January. we're going to be saying goodbye. Yeah, next Friday. Yeah, Ooh, good. Next Friday I'm ready January. to say hello, February. February is right around the corner. Valentine's sure. Day. I know. Mm-hmm. So many exciting things, but then I'm going to be more excited for March. Oh, can't wait for March. Yeah, March is coming up. 60, it's like 63 days until spring. Yeah, March we get spring. Mm-hmm. We get daylight savings time. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. Yeah. We haven't had a bad winter yet. We haven't had no uh, bad weather yet. Knock on no, wood. No, knock on wood. The only downfall with that, though, is, guys, people s- seem to get, you know, sick easy. There's, It's I not know. killed the germs. One of the guys this morning made the comment, you know, probably... Flies will be bigger than birds this year because of they'll be really biting. <laughs> yeah, this we've year. not had we've not had you know anything to kill off the bugs right. or anything. Yeah. So anyway. Oh yuck. But um, hey, uh, we've had a busy day. We've talked to Jordan Feliz. Yes. Yeah. What a great guy. Nice guy. His concert tomorrow. The beloved tour at the Benton Civic Center. Uh, you can get tickets. They'll have them available at the door. Eighteen for VIP general and the uh, eighteen dollars for the VIP. Seats premium reserved is fifteen dollars. Go to bentonciviccenter.com and purchase tickets. Tickets will also be available at the door. We drew out three winners. Yes, yes. we did. Who's going to receive two tickets to the Casting Crowns concert April 14th? They are Dylan Rock from Sesser, Miranda Cross from McLeansboro, and Tammy Hertenstein from Xenia. All three winners will be getting front row tickets. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's exciting. How exciting is that? And uh, we'll we'll get uh, we'll get word to you about your tickets and all that good stuff. And hand right? Are you left handed? Oh no! You're right handed. You're right handed. Mm-hmm. I'm left handed. And we're going to find out about our personality. How? What did you just say? You are? I'm left handed. You are? Yeah. Now I'm right handed. Mm-hmm. I throw right handed. Mm-hmm. I play golf right handed. I bowl right handed. But I bat. Left hand. Oh, really? So yes. you're one of those ambidextrous. What's up with that? <laughs> I don't know. It just feels more natural mm-hmm. when I'm batting. I see. I can swing a golf club, but right-handed. It's more natural. Okay. But a, I cannot swing a baseball now bat. That is strange. I've never heard of that. Right-handed. Well, a lot of people are that way, though. That's just the way the Lord made me. Mm-hmm. That's right. He says mm. Jimmy will swing a bat with the left hand, golf club with the right hand. That's right. I, That's right. You know, I've been around you all this all mm-hmm. this time, and no I've clue. never noticed that you were. I left-handed. am left-handed. That's right. I am left Wow. Wow. He's a southpaw. Right. I'm a southpaw. That's right. Mm. Well, here are uh, things your handwriting reveals about your personality. Big, outgoing personalities tend to write in large letters. Shy, introverted types prefer to write small. Now, if you have average-sized writing and demonstrates a strong ability to focus and concentrate. So, people mm. who leave large spaces between their words enjoy freedom and independence, while those who squeeze their words together tend to like uh, the company of others. Now, if your words are totally jammed together, you might be intrusive or have the tendency to crowd people. (laughs) Kelly. (laughs) Do you write with heavy pressure or light pressure? Um, What would you say? It it depends on (laughs) how how quick I'm wanting to get it done. All right. Well, while a very heavy pen pressure can suggest tension and anger, a moderately heavy pressure is a sign of commitment. A soft pressure means you're empathetic and sensitive, and you also might lack vitality Hmm. if you write soft. Okay, so what does it say about your handwriting if you write real loopy? Well, let me see here. Maybe we'll get to that here. (laughs) You definitely are loopy. (laughs) No, I don't mean that I'm... 
Oh, come on. I led myself right into that. No, well, you did. Let's see, oh. get, let's see if we get to that one here in a minute. Yeah. Oh, that is so funny. No, you know, like when I write my name, it's, mm-hmm. uh, it's I'm all right, Loopy. Okay, well, we'll get you know. to that here in a moment. Okay. okay. Hang on just a second. Now, if you dot your eyes high on the page, you likely have an active imagination. A closely dotted eye is the mark of an organized and detailed-oriented mind. If you dot your eyes to the left, you might be a procrastinator. And if you dot your eyes with a circle, you likely have playful, childlike qualities. Okay. Oh, All right. I'm definitely a daughter. All right. Yeah. Now, not how, a looper. Not a looper. You're not a looper. <laughs> now here's here's one. How legible is your um, signature? How legible is it? Mine's um, very legible. Okay. Uh, legible signature is a sign of confidence and comfort in one's own skin. Own skin. Jimmy Bass, that's awful. Sorry, Mark, I had to All right. interrupt. So that would be considered an illegible signature, right? Illegible? Yeah, illegible. Illegible? Yeah. Not legible. No. Illegible. Okay. It's not legible. You look like illegible. a doctor. Okay. That's a mark no, of I'm a... No, married to one. That's a mark of a private or hard-to-read person. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're private. Yeah. There you go. You're no, hard-to-read. Not private. really. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Now, a right slant means you're, you are you like to meet and work with new people, while a left slant means you prefer to keep to yourself. Left slanters also tend to be reserved and introspective. Now, if you cap your off your T's with a long cross, you're likely determined and enthusiastic, possibly with stubborn tendencies. Now, if you use a short cross, however, it could be because you're lazy. Now, wait a minute. You said a left mm-hmm. slanter? Mm-hmm. What? What about a right slant? A right slant say? means you like to meet and work with new people. Okay, that's what I am. You're a work, I'm totally you're, to the right. You're a right slanter then. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. All right, see, we need the T's, <laughs> didn't we? Okay. Here we go. Uh, we're getting close to your question, I think you asked. Okay. How do you loop your lower lowercase I? A widely looped I suggests you're relaxed and, sponta- and spontaneous, while a narrow retraced I, or no, this is L. Got, it looks like an I. It's an L. Retraced L means you might be restricting yourself. I think yourself. Mark might be a little loopy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he probably could be by not yeah. getting sleep, you That's know. That's right. That's right. <laughs> now, the hook on your lower cases Y is a huge indicator of personality. Okay, here we go. This is answering your question, right? Okay. A broad loop means you've got a large circle of friends, while a slender loop suggests you're more selective with whom you allow close to you. I've got the friends now. Look You've at You've got that. the friends. That's how I write right there. Now, <laughs> Jimmy, now look at that for a moment. A short hook means you're a homebody while a long hook could be a signal of wonder. She's a homebody. Homebody. I am a homebody. Okay, there you go. Now, pointed letters are a sign of an intelligent person who might be holding back aggression. Rounded letters signal creativity and artistic ability. And one more. If you write quickly, it's highly likely that you're impatient and dislike wasting time. If you take your time to getting your words down, you are self-reliant and methodical. So, Hmm. there you go. Wow. Speaks about your handwriting personality. Yeah. You like that, huh? I do. All right. Hey, we're going to come back. Jimmy has a corny joke. Listener submitted. Submitted. Listener submitted corny joke. We're going to get to that here in just a little bit. And uh, we're going to be putting a wrap on things today, guys. It's going by really fast today. Oh, it has. And we'll be putting a wrap on things coming up in a little bit, all right? Yes. All right. It's the Vine Morning Show on this fun day Friday. We'll come back in a little bit and put a wrap on things. More to come. And and, uh, keeping watch with Laura coming up right here at the Vine. Real Life Radio is thankful for the financial partnership we have with Greenwald & Sons Construction in Wayne City and in Mount Vernon. They specialize in residential and commercial construction and remodeling. They have a long list of satisfied customers spanning over 38 years. Whether it's a church addition, business expansion, or new home construction, Greenwald & Sons Construction of Wayne City and Mount Vernon are experts that you can depend on. Their phone number is 895-2044. And we thank them for their support of local Christian radio. 105. 5.5 and 90.9 The Vine thanks Wibbles Repair and Sales in McLeansboro for their monthly underwriting support of local Christian radio. They repair small engines and ag equipment and they sell small engine parts including oil filters and belts. They have agriculture aftermarket parts, interstate batteries, big truck parts and truck lighting. As steel and Husqvarna dealers, they offer a wide variety of chainsaws, trimmers and cutoff saws. Wibbles Repair and Sales in McLeansboro. Their phone number 618-648-2227. Open Monday through Friday, Saturdays till noon. 
Real Life Radio is grateful for the underwriting support of Taylor Flooring in Mount Vernon. Located at 328 Main Street in Mount Vernon, Taylor Flooring specializes in the sales, service, and installation of top brands such as Mohawk, Southwind, and LW Mountain. 100% locally owned and operated by Mark and Sherry Taylor, Taylor Flooring in Mount Vernon has your flooring needs covered. Their phone number is 315-6004. He who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. This is Keeping Watch with Laura Greathouse. I heard a pastor speaking recently on preparing, preparing for possible judgment, preparing for the last days, or however long God allows us to endure. He said this, the measure of your faith is shown in the amount you prepare. One day the rain is coming. What day? Only God knows. Noah prepared for decades. I don't believe we have that much time. What if it started raining judgment today? What if the power went off, the grid went down, all the lights went out, the water stopped flowing, and the cars stopped running? What would you do? Well, one second after, Nobody will have time to do anything. Have you prepared? You know, an old Jewish saying is this, I'd rather be one year too early than 10 minutes too late. Be prepared. Be prepared to help your family and others and yourself if that time of need ever comes. This has been Keeping Watch with Laura Greathouse. Heard twice daily on 105.5 and 90.9 The Vibe. Thank you, Laura, and Keeping Watch with Laura Greathouse. Underwritten Monday through Friday at this time by Taylor Flooring in Mount Vernon. So we get ready to wrap things up here this morning on the Vine Morning Show, guys. It's been a lot of fun. Things have gone by in a hurry. We had a big, busy day Yeah, we just had so much going on. Yeah, that happens. That's what Fun Day Friday is all about. Again, thanks to all of our listeners uh, that entered in uh, our contest mm-hmm. and uh, again uh, we did have three winners congratulations to them and we will be getting a hold of you uh, about your tickets to yes. the very next thing tour so an awesome an awesome tour an awesome concert that's going to be all right well jimmy has a corny joke that's been submitted by a listener is that right jimmy it has been submitted by a listener uh actually it was submitted by listener vanessa anderson mm-hmm. uh, oh. from sisney mm-hmm. and technically according to the email her four-year-old son Isaiah said it oh. and came up with it. Oh, so this has got to be good. So here, here's the joke. I'll, I'll do the joke and then I'll kind of give you the back the backstory on it. Okay. What do you call it when your forehead hurts? What do you call it when your forehead? And Mark, hurts? you've seen the answer I've because the you answer. forwarded it to yeah. me. So, but would you believe I've forgotten it? Already? I believe it. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. It's like okay. Probably because your forehead hurts. Because <laughs> my forehead. Hurts. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you call it when your forehead hurts? A forehead ache. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I love it. So apparently one night, little Isaiah uh, looked at at his mom and pointed to his forehead and said, Mommy, you know what it's called when your forehead hurts? It's called a forehead ache. Oh, that's so cute. And then she said, yep, he had a huge (laughs) smile on his face, and I couldn't help but laugh. So here's a Jimmy's joke of the day. That's cute. Thank you for sharing that. That was sweet. Kudos to you, Isaiah. That's the best. Yeah. Words out of a babe. He's starting out early as a comedian. I love it. Oh. Hey, you know, That's precious. I'll that always remember one? that. That's good. I, you know, Jimmy, I, if you want corny jokes submitted, they can submit them to you. Absolutely. Right? Uh, yeah. I mean, you can submit it. Uh, um, I su- I'm supposed to have a Vine email okay. address. Um, I I guess nobody has ever sent me a Vine email, but you can send it to jimmy at wvyn.org, or you could submit it to me via a private message on the afternoon matinee with Jimmy Bass yeah. Facebook page. There you go. That's a simple way to do it that way. Absolutely. Right? And you can get your corny joke read right, right here on the air. Absolutely. That was cute. Yeah, I really cute? enjoyed that one. Yeah, that was awesome. Hey, uh, the Hope Center over in Albin, they're going to be having Feed the Family tomorrow. The Albin Free Methodist House of Prayer helping out. Start time will be around 9 a.m. And it will happen, come rain or shine, and free food and other toiletries will be passed out. And if your church would like to help, give uh, Bucky a call in the future family, uh, our future Feed the Family event. 
Call Bucky 516-3859 or Steve at 445-2065. Not only that, if, uh, if you're an individual... And you would like to help out. You don't necessarily have to be with a church group. I mean, they could use the help. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can volunteer. Just get a hold of Steve or Bucky right. and just let them know, hey, you're willing to come over and serve, and they would love to have you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right? So, yeah. Wes Clark and Grandma, the onslaught tonight at 10 on 105.5 and 90.9. The Bay. I haven't talked to Wes to find out. You know how uh, you know what he's been lined up with Grandma. He's been a little busy, I think. I, if he was listening to the interview with Jordan Feliz and knowing that Jordan used to sing with a heavy metal band, he mm-hmm. may he may play oh, some Jordan Feliz tonight. You never know. Maybe. You never know. <laughs> he That's may take right. Grandma tomorrow night to the That's concert. That's true. That's right. Yeah. Maybe get Jordan to sing some heavy metal. That's right. Yeah. To Grandma. That's right. To Grandma. Maybe some old know. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah. <laughs> hey, tickets are available for the concert tomorrow. BentonCivicCenter.com, and they'll also be available at the door tomorrow night. Yes. Eight $15 for VIP reserve, premium reserved at $15. So get your tickets as soon as you can or get them tomorrow when you're there at the concert. Guys, thanks for coming in. All right. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, as it always. Has been. All right. We'll do it again next Friday. All right. Yes, we'll I have can't a, wait. We'll have a TV show theme song next Friday. Right. Oh, yeah. And then I'll tell you if she said yes to the dress. Yes. Let us know. I'll Keep let us you posted. Know. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Yes, unbelievable. <laughs> Jimmy's got the afternoon matinee coming up at 2. <laughs> and then Brian with Soul Shine coming up at 6. And then uh, Wes and Grandma tonight and tomorrow night, 10 o'clock right here on the Vine. Thanks, guys. Have Thank a great you. weekend, guys. You too. You too. Hey, temperature in the mid-50s today and uh, more of the same tomorrow as well. Have a great day. Have a great weekend, everyone. Always remember, read Scripture daily and stay focused on God and His Word. Going to leave you with Jasmine Murray and her latest. She's a brand new artist and she's up and coming. You're going to like this song. It's called Fearless, coming up right here at the Vine. Depressed, disconnected, insignificant failures. You're not alone. Those experiences are the very beginning steps of your journey to, to realizing who you are. Just wanted you to know on 105.5 and 90.9, The Vibe.